I get that's it. like my biggest attribute. Have you I'm ever like, had to get into a karate? I'm like a howler before. monkey. I like it. If I enter Danny Danger, just I just get loud. I just start screaming. <laughs> I, I just start yelling. I don't think anybody's <laughs> ever said Make they're a like a howler call. monkey. I, I am. I'm like a howler. I'm like beat a, your chest a, a, a few times and they <laughs> wear on. Woo woo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're listening to the Pine Room Podcast, the home of sports, gambling, entertainment, and whatever the hell else has gone on this week. So pull up a seat by the fire, crack open a cold one, and make sure to get your bets in. Welcome to the Pine Room. This episode is sponsored by our good friends at IC Cab. Whether you're in the Ohio Valley, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Columbus, Morgantown, or Charleston, you've seen the cars around. IC Cab provides a simple transportation service for all your transportation needs, be it a ride to the Pittsburgh airport, because we all know it's cheaper than parking, corporate transportation, courier services, or just a ride home from the local bar. IC Cab is your way to roll. To book your next ride, call 304 232 1313. Or schedule a future ride at iccab.com slash contact. Then all you got to do is fill out some info and boom, you got a ride coming your way. Oh, all right, that's me. Give them a call. Tell them the Pine Room sent you. All right, hello everyone and welcome to the Pine Room Podcast, episode 62. We're uh, 38 away from 100. Good math. So hopefully we can make it there quick. Uh, Not quick. (laughs) Not too quick. Yeah, not too quick. We'd start doing five shows a week. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know if we're going to have the time for that. So two years will be 104 episodes, right? Is that math right? Yes. Yeah, I mean, unless we ever skipped one. I think we did. We maybe did. I think we, we did. We did, did like a fill in yeah. a couple of times. That's all right. Holidays what, um, and some other stuff. What that's that's all right. In in th- at episode 100, where where in the year will we will be? Oh my gosh, where will we be at in the year? Episode well, that's like 40 be, weeks, 30 some weeks. So be uh-huh. the beginning of the year. It'd be no. Like, that's well, right. Yeah, it'd be the beginning of the year. 27 38 months, more. Well, that's how Siri. About th- four into 35. When so is more. 38 weeks? <laughs> If she gets that right, Tuesday, June. Wait, oh no. I don't know. I asked. It. Okay, right. whatever. We got it. We got we'll it. figure it out. In thirty-eight weeks, <laughs> In we'll, 38 be at, weeks yeah. we'll be at episode one hundred. Four I weeks a month. Yeah. Four, roughly four weeks four a month. Thirty-five. Right? Thirty-five. Yeah. yeah. So eight, seven, months, about eight months. Eight months. Yeah. About eight months away. So seven months. I actually, change. I was going to spit that out quick, and then I started second yeah, guessing no, myself. Yeah, me too. Trying to rethink my <laughs> days. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Wait. Yeah. If it's two years, on February. There you go. February. Oh, February of this next year, so twenty twenty four. Hey, happy Valentine's Day, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um no, hopefully everybody is still uh, I'm not breathing. Even yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Me it, too. we should be uh, chugging along. Who's the most likely of our entire Pine Room group to, to perish? Probably yeah. me. Oh, I, no, no, he's been no, saying my you're, stress, you're pretty my healthy. My stress level would just. Well, you got to get my, those fucking bumps figured yeah, out. Yeah. I'll look like uh, Sloth from the Goonies <laughs> next year. Uh, oh. Yeah, we had a great, uh, great couple hey of days. <laughs> I'll come in here with a baby Ruth and a pirate hat on. Um, we had a great weekend, great launch party at Generations. That get everybody that came out and supported. We had a huge crowd. A lot of people showed up. Even people that I didn't imagine it showed up. My cousins from Oklahoma came up. Uh, the Roberts. We had Melba and Lucian oh, wow. uh, from couldn't across the street. That. I couldn't believe Melba came up to me. She said. I was coming to this no matter what. I would have walked here, and I said, "I just that you know it made me because uh, uh, I've known them since I was a baby." And, and I, they had a blast. Yes, I think they absolute did. blast. I think they she did. even said she wasn't a beer drinker, but she really enjoyed the mm-hmm. beer. So that's good. Uh, a lot of people got a lot of good feedback. What's Melbourne drink? Beer. Wine. Yeah, she's a wine. Why don't margarita. we have a pine room wine someday? Yeah. Let's go to the vineyards. I had two requests. I had either a, I had a request for a bourbon and a request for a rum. Oh boy, that bourbon. was our two. Fuck, I'm on board. 100%. Yeah, me too. Well, those are me those too. are going to be pricey endeavors, I know, man. Especially I know. the bourbon. I think we could. Maybe we could. Maybe we could be the ones oh, that we need oh, a liquor geez. license. They're give your dad a new hobby. You don't have enough to do. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't if give him any idea. If you get some idea, we'll start ha- growing <laughs> start vines in the backyard. We'll be crushing grapes down in the basement. Evie will be crushing. Grapes in the backyard. Oh, no. uh, we um, 
one thing I want to say for this, though, uh, this is the event poster for um, the launch party. I am going to be putting in a blank version of this where it just says, listen, drink, and enjoy uh, in the store. So if you would like, you can buy these in a metal print or a canvas print, and you can have them for your own house if you want to hang it up or put it in your uh, man cave or whatever. Um, a collector's item. Yeah, just another. Will you photo. autograph those if someone asks. <laughs> yeah, we all can. <laughs> that would well, that, actually be cool. Yeah, that's actually pretty Get a good that idea. Silver that's pen. actually not a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, or we could just print a bunch of these Tom Thumbs and we'll all sign. There we go. Um, I, I, I tell you what, Saturday. Oh, well, I'm sorry. And no, the sandals. Mm-hmm. Saturday was an absolute ball, but yes. I tell you what, Friday night was a lot of fun though too. It, was it nice really. To relax. It, it Did you guys really have a soft yeah. opening party? Yeah, we had a little And and I told my dad, I I don't know if you were still there. I told my dad, I said, Dad, we should we should start doing this more often. Like maybe every Friday or so, just have the guys over. Yeah, at least once have, a month. Yeah, have a it few was. beers. Just kind of touch Chris's, base with everybody. Uh, Chris's first tasting of the beer. First tasting, cigars. Uh, Michael Grove pitched that night. Yeah, he did. It, it was a beautiful night outside drinking nice. our yeah. pine room beer. It was a really good time. Here's, um, I have a wound uh, from. Oh, that's right, that's the cigar. cigar ash. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, I'm okay. I wonder why a lawyer contacted me today. That was fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, you'll be receiving notice uh-huh. soon. Um, yeah, but great day, great weekend. Uh, but we're back. Who is the, the drunkest guy at this party on Saturday? <laughs> cool. Cooley was in the mix. I, I, yeah. Cooley definitely was, was in the mix. Was, how was say? He didn't. He was, but he he he. He's he, very the, mellow. The volume, he back the out. volume in which he needs to be drunk is a lot, and he. I think he said he had. 15 beers, 15 of the loggers, mm-hmm. so that's quite a bit, but I think he... Oh, dude, wow, cool. You're in the mix for drunk. The next exactly. day, he looked like... Bad. I told him he looked like D.B. Cooper sitting in the park. <laughs> yeah, he did. I got an incredible picture of him. I, uh, it'll be one of our Saturday pictures. <laughs> he have a hood up, sunglasses? Yeah, yeah he yeah. was sitting in the in his car, and it's just his head was shown, and he had these dark sunglasses on, and he looked like exactly like that. <laughs> I had a raging headache. Did you just have Pine Room Lager the whole night? Oh, yeah. So this yeah, is what I, I have like, to look forward to when I drink. I, I was... I, I was smashed. Were you guys I, drinking the drafts or the cans or both? Mix, Bo- mix both. Them. I, t- I oh, and I gotta draft. say, I think that's the draft, draft, the draft is a little bit better, I think, than the can. But I don't. I, I don't, actually, I don't even know what if I you can say, say that. Hey, I'll be honest, I thought they both were really good. Yeah, I was I know gonna that say, actually, like are, they, Homerville. are they distinctively different though? Ah, uh, you know what? No. I'm gonna vote no. No, I didn't. Deal, I didn't most, think so. most of them usually are like there yeah, is slightly most people, slight, but I but I tell you, I didn't taste it. But I tell you this much, Mr. Cooley, unfortunately, you are a dead giveaway with your rosy cheeks, dude. Oh, uh, when, when I you're I all fucked up, and his eyes start to get ever so slightly more close. I never paid attention that, but the rosy cheeks, unfortunately, I know that's when my boy's starting to get a little buzzed. And he's got like perm. A grin. He always is like, yeah, always he's smiling. always smiling. <laughs> Stone, he has a good time, man. I get a lot louder, more talkative. I don't know. Well, good time, right. As so. soon as your arm goes around my shoulder, I know he's, he's <laughs> yeah. hammered. He's yeah. hammered. It's good stuff, um, though. Yeah, really it was, was a great time. It was an awesome time. We sold. Um, you guys able to sneak in this beer onto the cruise ship and promote it down into the, <laughs> yeah. the, right. the island? Distribute it on the Get a drop ship then Nassau. somehow. Um, hmm. Why not? Oh. I hope. I wish we could do that. But we, um, we actually broke a record at Generations. We broke a record for a beer debuted or purchased in a day. We sold over 600 beers in a given day from 6 to midnight or whenever they closed. 600 beers, over 600 beers left that bar. So that is... You a, think about that. Honestly, Did you have you guys tried to wrap your head around that? Number so one. 600 just, pours of the 16 ounces or 600 total with it the It was cans a combination. Too. So okay. both. But 16 and, ounces and, each way. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and kegs. And so... Set it, a record. Actually, two different records then, right? Yeah. Four kegs got blown. So they said they set a keg record that night of the single beer, and they set a just an overall beer record on the same beer. Correct? That's pretty good. Yeah. And you think about <laughs> the other thing, and I don't want to mis- I don't want to say the wrong number, but Generations has been around for years, very long, long years, time. years, the 80s. years. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I think, actually, Matt, I think even long, a little bit longer yeah. than that. So that's a long time. And then when the Pine Room podcast rolls through and breaks, <laughs> yeah. and here's the deal: didn't we set records for the burger, burger too? Burger, I believe. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what? What we we're trophy. Do. That's we're what all. we do. Tro- all. Trophy hunters. That's why we'll probably be closed tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah so, so, so pretty much everybody in the place was drinking the pond. Yeah, thing. Matt. I, I was think. sitting at the bar and I ordered food right when I got there, and I was sitting with Hannah. And I watched that tap go, and literally the the bartenders would just go behind Constant. each other. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. It was really, really cool. What and, did the bar staff have to say about it? Were they like? I mean, not necessarily the beer, but like, were they? Did they like the event? Oh cool yeah, they had a yeah. blast. They had a like, really I'm sure the people did well tip wise and stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I think they had a blast. I, 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 I 
got to say they did a really good job too of keeping up because it was oh yeah their 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 staff is very busy. sharp they, they they got some good people there. you know what Jared that's Definitely. actually a really good point I'm, I'm glad like, you brought that you didn't up have a nine hundred dollar bill they did oh, a great great job they did. You really weren't like waiting for no, as no. busy as it was yeah. got it and they uh, got food out quick too I, I agree oh, that's also something I was really impressed about because I ate, I ordered food and then I'm busy running the camera around and getting mics set up and and whatever and I'm out there like mingling and all of a sudden I get a tap on my shoulder and the girl has a pizza like right in my like right in front of me and I'm like oh, how did you find me and she said oh I just saw you walking around she remembered my order and went on a long did, on her way did any of you guys get the pine room burger with the beer no, no. I didn't weekly okay. took one home but he okay. was probably all jacked up at that time but I, I just wondered how it combo together it's a probably a good combo yeah, I'm sure it is I've had, we heard some there. feedback of the beer uh that's what I was just going to talk relation about. Relation wise, like as as far as what people compared it to, I heard comparisons that were that were a darker, like a heavier Yingling, a slightly heavier Yingling, or a Corona, um, oh, wow. a, a a heavier Corona. And then I also heard that it, it by, with one guy said that he put a lime in it and it was really really good. So that I was going to ask if anyone tried the citrus fruits yeah. like the whole. Yeah, I got to try that lemon I, orange. I really got to uh, try that. Who that's kind of wild. I'd be honest, yeah, hands. I mean, no disrespect because everybody's palate. You're good. Palate is different. Palate, jeez, <laughs> something goofy. <laughs> good. Um, I would not even think anything about a Corona whatsoever. But the one thing I did like, and I'll be honest, we're all about fair and balanced on this show. There was people that didn't like it. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. And, I, and, I, I, and never, I think that's super cool. That I'm sorry. Yeah, no, go ahead. I never saw them. But. I, and I actually, there was a few people um, that I respect their opinion. I, 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 we talk about this all the time. Probably more than me and you. I hate people grin fucking us. Like, oh, actually, no, no, yeah, if, yeah. You, if you, you don't you, like you it, you felt felt bad about it if everybody said it was good yeah then you're like they're all yeah, lying to you no, yeah. it, not everybody's a, gonna like that stuff and no, i haven't no, tried no, no. it yet hey so. coming for me i hate it like, yeah. I, a lot of people aren't into those kinds mm-hmm. of beers and i'm anxious to see how many of them i can drink without feeling really fucking slammed because because yeah. oh, you were, got you know like we uh, drink we don't we drink. We're, we're not like regular guys going out i always laugh at this and i know this is a terrible thing to say but i've <laughs> talked about this with chris before <laughs> if i see somebody buying a six-pack of like bottles at the store i kind of like laugh like 100 percent. like oh dude, what's that what's that do? like is that for your ride home <laughs> I know, <laughs> like, right? and i don't mean to be that way but it's like 100 12 pack minimum on, for me usually when i'm drinking i mean it's i'm not saying i can't because I, I i know some people can't not drink like 20 I, I can have a few but it's just like when you're going out and buying and making the effort yeah. like are okay. you guys of the the type that are you able to sit and have one or two no, beers? I've, I've, I've always. If I'm that. at home and I it, couldn't, I just yeah. can't. I couldn't do that because to me, the purpose of having any kind of alcohol is just to get drunk. Yeah, get fucked up, yeah. yeah. But sometimes, though, if you've had Jeff I can attest that. to this, like <laughs> you you said before on here about how you're doing yard work and you just mm-hmm. come in and yep. have a couple or one or whatever, and, and that's sometimes just to clear your mind. But Job, I agree. If you're going out, if I'm like, going out. Yeah, then it's no, it's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's like full um, throttle. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be like a couple. Yeah, yeah like I like we there are times when I've had to drive and I tell people I can't drink. I can't drink because I got to drive. Right. And they go, "Well, just have one." Well, what's the what's the yeah, point? I'm yeah, like, that's dumb. I, I I'll fall asleep if I only do that. Like have one. But <laughs> at home, occasionally, if you worked around the house or you had a rough day at work and or you got a meeting, sometimes I'll be on meeting calls and I'll and I'll crack one open just to keep my sanity. Yeah. But yeah. Back but I agree most of the time. Back to the taste, though. One thing that was consistent across the board, people that tried it and didn't like it at first and then came on to it, said it was like after those first couple sips, the first yep. couple sips were cra- – and the cool part about it, these people don't know each other. Like the first couple sips were crafty, as mm-hmm. they say, and then it just became, quote, unquote, a normal beer to them. So really, I think that's kind of yeah, cool, too. And I and we were talking to, to Wayne, Big Wayne oh, from, Wayne, from Wayne, Big Timmer, by the way, who was just – Absolutely awesome. That guy reminds me of uh, Alan from uh, The Hangover. He was so funny. He was awesome. He was he was just so cool. But he said um, that actually that bitterness that kind of bite will go away with the next batch because they said it was uh, what they called a green beer. Mm -hmm. So because they they brewed it and then got it out so quick, it didn't sit for longer than it did. So that's that's what gave it that bite. So. I guess the next batch is even going to be better. So. Oh, that's wild. That's what, that's what Wayne said. Does the said, alcohol so. content seem stronger or as advertised? Ace he, he said he felt like he got fucked up faster. When he so did I, I, I'll be honest. I thought I did, too. Yeah. Maybe, I, I, and I mean, and Ace is think, an experienced guy, so I trust his... When he talks know, about drinking, do you think They're four and a half might enough. be a little under? Well, maybe, but again, if maybe it's what Wayne said. Maybe the way they mix, oh, maybe know, the way too, things yeah. are, they don't know the ratio exactly. They yeah. can ballpark it, but 
It hit Who me knows? like a truck, so I don't know. <laughs> well, here's the deal. I think everybody, I mean, obviously Matt couldn't make it, but I would imagine all of us were so amped up that we were probably throwing back beers. I thought and about didn't even that. Know we were throwing yeah, back probably. beers. How'd your dad turn out for tonight? He, he in was, good shape? Yeah. Well, hold on. Before Surpr- I left, surprising. Listen, no, before I left, I was super impressed with my dude Mark Delbrook because you know usually by that time of the night he's gone. We had about four or five hours in, and you know, solid. Maybe I missed the boat on Sunday. Maybe that means I was that fucked up. I was. He was. Uh, he was. He was pretty loaded. Yeah, he was. He was feeling. Well, I. I didn't think he was. I didn't think he was as bad as he could have been. But, uh, as we've in seen my, before, yes. But the, the, <laughs> all I know, well, all life. I know, I know is that he. Well, we. I shouldn't t- say this, but uh, all, when we were at home, I Hannah had came home with me, and we went into my room, and I shut the door, and I I was just like getting ready to go to bed, and I I heard him. I heard there there was like a light crash in the in the bathroom, oh, no. and he went ah oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he uh, yeah I think he was yeah he had a. Fun I mean time. no he he definitely w- was feeling it, but I don't think he was. But you didn't have to stretch your him out of there. No, yes, no, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Right, he, right, he, and right, he, right. he didn't drive, which was good. Well, Job yeah, took him good. home. Uh, no broken ribs. But, but I know. Yeah, no broken ribs. Oh, I, hey, I know for sure. Call that IC <laughs> cab next time. Uh, real quick, I knew that he he. I knew he definitely was loaded up because he looked at me and said, "I really feel like fucking with some people right now." <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, t- um, that is we great. were happy oh, enough geez. to be um, breaking news. Did you see that picture just got sent? Oh, to- now we're yeah. talking. Now we Joe, are pull that talking. up on your Uh-oh. phone and show. That's this is Nate. Yeah. Oh no! Don't even say nothing yet. Hold on. Let me. That see. is super cool. I'm gonna check it out right now. While, while that's happened, here. I just want to say one thing though. It's funny because I guess with this common ground that we always talk about is maybe alcohol with this group. Matt's making fun of the jack off that's only buying the six pack. <laughs> Jared says, "Well, it's not as bad as he could have been." Crazy, <laughs> 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 we sound like a bunch of yeah. alcohol. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. This picture, uh, Nate, um, our cousin Nate Roberts, who they were Nate, his um, uh, mom Kristen, dad Brian. Came up to the launch, which is uh, incredible. I couldn't. I had, we had no, me and Job. Had no idea. Had no idea they were going to so be there. No I mean, idea. they've done. I mean, and, her and, and Jake it, came to the to the thing, yeah, the rough and, and rowdy. The one it's time. amazing. No it, They're just in the, the neighborhood. The the weekend that that Jake that Nate has real quick. Yeah. So he goes on Thursday or no on Friday. on Friday goes to Ohio, uh, visits Ohio State. Saturday comes to the beer launch. Sunday goes to Michigan, Michigan. and then today Back is to Notre, Dame. Notre Dame. And then Jeff, Jeff, Jeff it could be it could be you guys. That's Jeff, the second ahead. visit That's here. Unbelievable! The this is yeah. getting huge. So there's That's awesome. The... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you'd be one. able to do. That's just there's unbelievable. Picture. Yeah, if you're lo- if you just uh, oh, go just... ahead, Jeff, describe it since it's your. Well, no, I just at the end of the day, I said this, and I feel because I know it sounds kind of cheesy, and I we said it about Jake, and I know that it's your guys' family, but just two kids, man, and that was the first time I got to meet Nate. It, once again, if you can't root for people like that, you are a fucking moron. Just <laughs> yeah. two good kids, humble. You talk to him, you would never know that he was getting ready to go to fucking Michigan, yeah. Notre Dame. No. I, I mean, you would have no fucking And their clue. parents. Par- it, and yeah. actually, first time I got to meet the dad, seem, honestly, every, you guys all oh, talk about great. him. Just a good fucking man. Obviously, Kristen babysat right. me, so that, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, just a, you talk about the, the family you want to root for, that's a great example. Well, let's yeah, just that. hope we don't have to root for him in Scarlet uh, <laughs> Jeez, Jeff least. said on the radio today, Jeff, I'm, I was oh, like, I was at nightmares yeah, last night. Oh, it's like, oh, I can't say it ain't so. Oh, please. I can't do it. If I got to go wear a high state stuff, people are going to think I mean, oh, really, Matt's lost the world's his mind. Yeah, yeah, Matt, like, oh, Matt's in bad but shape. I'll have to do it. Oh, yeah, God. it's like we, we literally, we would have to be Ohio State fans. We I'd get a to. jersey, and that would be keep it simple, so it would have his name yeah. on the back. I'd be that dude because I could not wear it. just normal shit. got rude for You should just get a scarlet shirt with nothing on the front and just run. Roberts on that's the back. it. Yeah, and that's it. Well, I won't have anything that says <laughs> Ohio State on it. Yeah, exactly. And only right. him. Maybe that stupid looking Buckeye logo. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Brutus. Maybe well, it, like we were saying, uh, and I sent a picture last night in the group text that the college football recruiting world is absolutely beyond belief. And we'll say that. Are we allowed to say? I would. I would wait. Actually, I was going to say something too, but yeah, I went, but prob- I think I think it's all real. Well, it's but just, I respect waiting. all the coaches but, try to make the most connections they possibly can. So, and one of those connections is us. Yeah, so, without yeah, a doubt. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Uh, we um yeah we were lucky enough to hang out with them, and we were really appreciative of them. We love them so much, and can't thank them enough for coming up and spending time with us on uh, Saturday. Uh, Kristen <laughs> Kristen was going to eat, and I told her. 
you should get the Piner Burger and uh, or no, she she was up at the bar and I said you should get the Piner Burger. And she said, yeah, I already had the Carlos before he came. So <laughs> she nailed that down. Of cool. Hold your uh, flip flops up. Uh, we got the new Pine Room things. podcast slides uh, where he's going to be swarting those these summers. So, Super uh, comfy. Yeah, they're awesome. They're actually mu- they're better quality than I thought they would be. So go go get yourself a pair on oh, the shop. Nice. They turned out really nice. Yeah, and they're, they're, what I like about these material is it's like a it's like a harder foam that's not a it, it won't absorb water. They have like a toe in. They look good. Yeah. yeah so so that. like if you get your feet wet, you don't like I had these Under Armour pair that had like um like foam that cushion. was like cushion right. and it got soaked and it, like if i would get in the water i would walk and just like yeah. like all <laughs> the whole day but uh good stuff go get yourself a pair of uh slides in the uh in the store we got some new stuff coming out there uh over the over the uh next couple of days jared puts out the um the saturday pictures if you haven't seen it yet jared, we just put up on social media uh our commercial for oh, yeah. uh yeah that'll be uh keglers and next break uh we put a commercial up for keglers which is going to be the next location <laughs> where we roll out the pine room logger it's in morgantown if you want to come down and join us on the 23rd it's a bit of a hike so uh we don't we don't expect as big of a crowd um but it's gonna be uh it's gonna be fun yeah, i think it's basically kind of the same thing we did at generations not yeah. on that that scale, but um, no, it'll be fun. I'm, I'm excited. Suits cooking up some scheme, though. You might have a big giveaway. Yeah, or something I guess he down wants there. to try so to get. There might take, be more people there than you think. Yeah, yeah. soup, uh, soups, soups brain is. It could be stuff. If if a scientist studied soup's brain, the, he might have a. Mental so you think he should donate down. his body parts to science? When he, <laughs> I don't know. It could be brain. like it could be like uh, one of those like, like hazardous waste. To like be, nobody ever wants to get near it. It's like the elephant's foot in Chernobyl. Think he was exposed to radiation as a young boy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He he exudes radiation. He yeah, you're yeah. right about that. Um, yeah, there's Good nuclear stuff. power plants that don't work as hard. I don't think. <laughs> um, if you haven't listened to it yet, listen to the radio show Monday uh, from two to three, Tuesdays and Thursdays from twelve to three. We have a fun time on there. We just played a couple games today. Talked some news, some notes. Today was a good show. Yeah, history. Matt joined us. Lady uh, that woke up in a casket. Uh, that yeah. that's just beyond belief. Yeah, we talked about a lady in, in Ecuador who was. Uh, and uh, she was pronounced dead after a heart attack, and a couple hours later, she woke up in the casket at her at her wake, and they was pounding on the on inside the of the. That's so terrifying. <laughs> and I said, "What happens if she would have woke up two hours later in the ground?" Chris is calling me right now. I'm going to put him on. Oh All right. my god! Okay. Well, thank God they're in a third world country. Hey, Chris, we're on a podcast. What's up? Ben, sorry, I totally fucking forgot. I, I, I forgot. <laughs> Oh, okay. okay. All right. Sorry, Matt. Oh, you're good. Bye-bye. Bye, bye. bye, Chris. All right. That was Chris. Um, <laughs> that was Chris. Chris. Captain Chris. <laughs> he's got a... Uh, he's he's got, playing bocce, I thought, with your dad. I think he is. <laughs> they play outside or inside? I think it's like, uh, covered, but outside. Covered, yeah. Think, yeah. yeah. They like got a, a huge... It's like a pavilion. Huge gotcha. game tonight for them. Oh, they yeah? Got, they're against the first place team. Oh, they're, I guess Uh-oh. they're three games back. He's probably on in transit over there. Is there money at the end of all this? Yes. They win money. Is it like divisions or something? Yeah, it's yeah. like one big big division. Yeah, hey, cool. your dad yeah. gets pretty into that. Mom, well, my dad, yeah, he's he, he, he shoots gets, bad, like you said. He brings it home with him. We're oh hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. He it's you know, a, hey, if he shoots good, he probably brings you guys pizza from oh, over yeah, there. Like yeah, if he shoots seven. bad, he get nothing. It, we get like charcoal. Yeah, get get grab. something from sheets. That's yeah. funny. You guys he, get beat. Yeah, yeah. Like that. He, I, I, when I hear the door open, I, I cower. Yeah, I'm like, oh no. He's actually he's walking in, taking off his belt. There's nothing worse than when he lost to those that group of older ladies last year i oh, remember maybe. chris said he was absolutely furious well, because, these ladies were like I, in their 80s almost well, well, they, i don't them. think they had won a game all year no, they were they hadn't and, won all and year i think they needed <laughs> they, they, swept they needed to yeah. win to like yeah, to, to get to, to playoffs clinch or, or clinch something, clinch something. Yeah. something and, and they ended up getting beat and my dad uh, I, he was I really know. pissed about that's that. why i love bocce if you've never played bocce before um Find a place you can. There are tournaments that are around Wheeling. You go play in or whatever. It's such a it's such a fun game because you don't really have to be right. Like, like just that or, example there, right. eighty year old women are beating my dad. Who's I mean, 
He's and a bocce it, pro. Yeah, he's been yeah. playing bocce forever. But so it's fun. We have a lot of fun. We did the bocce match. Bocce is fun. Man. It's it fun. Really fun. And it's like it's not stressful. You uh, can have a drink. Uh, it's it's uh, some some guys make it stressful. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, some, yeah, yeah. If you get the I'm wrong sure team, we, we know some yeah. Matt guys. Yeah. yeah, telling you what to do and coaching oh, you the that, whole time. That, yeah, that hey, happened to us. I want to ask these two because we talked about it on the radio today, and then we don't have to talk about it anymore. But uh, something that's been super super intriguing to me. This is way off topic and out of left field um <laughs> there was this whistleblower have you heard of this on the news i won't be surprised if you didn't whistleblower the, for an intelligent yeah, he was a highly space. intelligent intelligent geez always he is an intelligence officer who was retired from the air force um and he had like deep connections with in the pentagon and in uh like uh you know u.s intelligence have you heard this hold on is there, is, is he captured right now in another country no okay no, so thank god you, you haven't heard you this know course? i haven't heard this my god <laughs> yeah you don't watch a lot of news <laughs> yeah. well, uh, so this aliens guy, might be living at his house he didn't yeah. even know but nick's there so. oh, yeah, nick. <laughs> yeah. that's why he's been coming over yeah he's been, he's he's been playing uh, playing video games with the aliens <laughs> all right so this um this happened, uh, which I, I I can't believe. That, well, I know that uh, it doesn't have uh, as much um, traction or as much news coverage as that it probably should. But this guy's name is David Grush, and he was just on the news um, about a couple couple a couple days ago, if not yesterday. Well, when you're hearing this, a couple days ago. So he was a a former military intelligence officer official officer official and uh, air force veteran who says the u.s government is in possession of alien spacecraft and he is a highly highly um credible uh, intelligence officer for the u.s air force and u.s military and he's got like multiple people that will back him up and like his all of his credentials check out and he came out with a statement on this news uh, station in a news nation interview and it was like a 60 minutes kind of sit down where they're across from each other and this guy basically went off and offered – he didn't have any evidence with him, but uh, said that his information comes from several sources that uh, he confirmed uh, he had not seen any of these alleged spacecraft but has seen some interesting photos and read some very interesting reports and basically was saying that the U.S. is in possession of alien spacecraft and uh, – basically pilots from these alien spacecraft through different private organizations one of them is called aero in the you in the, the spacecraft world um and they have collected these spacecraft and bodies and have possession of multiple of them and he came out and has claimed that this is all true on news oh my god i mean i believe it i, can't I definitely wait. believe that like it's got to come possibility. out. It, isn't there, uh, wasn't there something this past weekend that they said something landed in Vegas or something like that? They, yeah. Was there yeah, something? there was another sighting of yeah. something up in the sky. There yeah. was a um, a meteor, well, well, it what looked like a meteor, there's a police, uh, it's an awesome video of it, you might be able to pull it up. Um, it's a police dash cam, or a body cam, this policeman's talking to the guy on the side of the street, you see this like streaking ball of light come down uh, from the sky, and within... 20 minutes of that happening there's a 911 call and the operator picks up and this kid explains that there are these large figures in his backyard moving yes. around like a a some kind of like a force field looking thing and they had like big faces and big eyes and and like panicked and the police took it serious went to investigate the place and yeah Cool stuff. Oh my God. I think it would be very, once again, I know we've talked about this a million times on this. It'd be very shallow for us to think that we're the only people yes. on, in this world. It'd Definitely. be very shallow. But also, my cynical side comes out and says it's just like Bigfoot. Everybody talks there's a Bigfoot. Well, how come right. we haven't fucking seen Bigfoot? Yeah. yeah. Just as much as, wow, well, how come we haven't seen an alien him. after this many years yeah. or whatever? So I think it's more, it's, uh, once again, I've always said my brain can't, if I can't, if I can't touch it, if I can't see it, I can't wrap my head around it. This so. says, but I'm so, not saying I'm right. That's so not Rush claims know. that the United States is, is in possession of multiple vehicles or space cap, spacecraft constructed by a non-human intelligence, and their existence is being concealed from the public. Grush says that these spacecraft have either landed or crashed on Earth, and both the U.S. government and defense contractors are currently working to reverse engineer the technology. Extraordinarily, Grush even claimed that some of the vehicles contained bodies of pilots, and some of the spacecraft were very large, like a football field kind of size. 
Uh, Grosh stated that vehicles were not necessarily Jeez. extraterrestrial and, ex and speculated that they might come from another dimension, stating it as somebody who studied physics, where maybe they're coming from a different physical dimension, as described in Quantum Mechanics. Um, he described the vehicles as being composed of extremely strange, heavy atomic metal, uh, high up at the periodic table arrangements that we don't understand. If, if yeah, a plane the size of a football field crash, how does nobody else like get a, like see it or find out about it? Like, do you think they can keep something like that under wraps? I think they're I think they're capable of a lot of things. That they want to. Know. I don't um, know. I'm kind of like Jeff right now. I'm kind of I'm a little skeptical. You're now. skeptic now. I, well, I believe it's possible, but I don't know. I hope it is. I hope. Oh it yeah, is. I, I, I think. It, I think. Why, it is. Who's to say someone else didn't just make it here? Like, well, that that well, that's what he's saying. He's like not not necessarily extra dement extra terrestrial it could have been just made from us you know, I yeah, know. someone's like iron man out there building stuff and just wrecked it <laughs> that's all uh yeah um we're not alone i i hope so i think if i want before i die i want there to be something crazy to happen like to like break well, not like quite like independence day but no i don't want us to all get eaten <laughs> yeah that, <laughs> i don't know that would be hopefully good. they come in peace <laughs> Yeah, I don't want us to get eaten, but yeah, peace, uh, love, and, <laughs> peace love, and happiness. Yeah, and uh, pine room lager. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That that to the board. Do you think her. they would enjoy it if we if we if we offer that as our our peace peace? I don't see offering? why not. I wish. I'd come down, and talk to us. Let us know what's going on. We'll Isn't be that kind of like ET? Didn't ET get fucked up? Yeah. and got into a little bit of yeah. Food. He did. Like he did, did get fucked up. up. Yeah. So I'll be honest, they like it. They hey. just catch a little buzz and fly away. Have yeah. you ever seen the, like the animals there. in the Af in Africa that eat the fermented fruit off the ground and they get all fucked up? Have you ever seen uh, that? Yeah. weird piece of knowledge that I know? But uh, they they're these fruits that they rot on trees and they fall off yeah. onto the ground and these animals will eat them like monkeys and baboons. They'll eat them and just get hammered because it's fermented like wine uh -huh. and they'll just get smoked like elephants they'll lay on the ground like roll around because they're all hammered Drunk, like you can find it is it's awesome that's awesome good all for right. them we're gonna take a quick break that is great stay with us hey what's up man yeah just got done grinding the gnar out there on the surf Figured I'd get my rounds in on the old skatey board. What's up with that totally lame drip drop you're wearing, man? You gotta get fresh, my homie. Good thing the Pine Room Shop has some sick new merch to splurge out on this summer. Look at this sick new fanny pack to keep my snacky poos in. Oh, in these swim trunks? Yeah, Pine Room Shop's got them too. How about these sick Pine Room slide flippity flops for my little footsies? Yeah, go to the Pine Room shop right now, my home slice, and get that new gear. Cha! I'm gonna go throw down a boneless backside burly. Hopefully I don't break my brain bucket. Later, dude! Well, you're probably gonna hear this in the in the next break because I'm gonna record a little ad for them, a uh, little little spot read for them. But we want to give a huge shout out to our latest uh, partner uh, business, IC Cab. They are our neighbors across the uh, across the way from the studio. They're right right down the road. Uh, we were lucky enough to partner with them during the beer launch. And as much fun as we talk about drinking beer and getting loaded uh, when you're having a fun time. Uh, you always want to do it responsibly and do it responsibly and do it safe. Uh, and who better to partner up with IC Cab to be able to pick you up and take you to wherever destination you need to go? Uh, it's simple service. Uh, you can call them in the Wheeling area, 304 232 1212. Come out and pick you up. Um, they are an awesome business. Uh, we know the owner and they have been grateful enough to partner up with us. And they took definitely some several <laughs> several people home Saturday night. So I can definitely vouch for them that. Yeah, way. I was going to ask how many bodies they drug out of I'm there. Not yeah. sure, I'm not sure. I'm not sure official. <laughs> count but i know for sure there were some Good. taken out of there uh you oh, can see are you allowed to do that <laughs> damn it you're coming to my cat <laughs> so here's a question for you guys if you're a bartender and i'm sitting at the bar Ooh. and i call the taxi cab can you just serve me till i till i get the cab i mean Oh, that's a good question. Or do or you still get cut off? I mean, I'm sure if you're behaving yeah, normally. It, yeah, if yeah. you're normally, I'd say you could probably still go. Yeah, if you're smashing bottles. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I, like trust spitting. me. We've all been around drunks who act like buffoons. <laughs> yeah. We don't want that. But yeah. yeah. Like, if you know, know somebody's going to get a driver, or get a driver, you know, I'm not worried about ever serving them. Yeah. If they're yeah. acting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I guess, yeah. I guess so. I, I guess you'd have, you have to have some kind of proof that they're actually... 
I, I guess you. And don't they're not going to like die. Yeah. What if you call the cab for them? That's no. true too. Also, is a bar liable for the damages that like a they say can be. say a, a bar comes say a guy comes out of the bar gets in his car just smashes up a bunch of cars in the parking lot or something like that? Um, is is the bar liable? They can are. Be, like they, said, there's cases where 100%. people would you know get the facts depending on how it was handled whether they were over served they were obviously intoxicated blah 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 blah. There, there's so, been times where the bar has lost. There's been times where they that's haven't. Probably, so you could probably just have the intent to go in there, get loaded, and then come out yeah. and say, well, they didn't stop me, so I just went and... Well, s- I'm not naming names, but we've had some political officials in this area that have done that, and they, <laughs> we, they've tried to blame the, we the had, bar. We had a comment on our social media. Yeah. Well, but uh, even before that, there was a couple other ones, uh, guys who were running for office. Uh, it, I'm not going to name their names, but uh, oh they did smash... And, of course, immediately you go, oh, that was the bar. I was overserved. Well... And this well, is like a bar you're like a frequent. And I'd be so mad at no, person. I also don't just think, take responsibility yourself. Period. Quit blaming yeah, others. Yeah, it's it's like you're you're an adult. You're not you're not like a kid that it doesn't have the right. judgment to be able to say, well, hey. Yeah, and you're running for political yeah. office. Yeah. Like, yeah. We yeah. also have multiple bartenders there, so they could they could be serving you for their first time that yeah. night. Right. Yeah. I mean, so how do they supposed to? I I, yeah. I find it. I'm sure there are cases where bartenders almost. Some like <laughs> tried to make somebody get fucked up oh, on probably. purpose. Yeah, yeah. And maybe then you say, well, maybe they are if you can prove it. Yeah. But it's tough to prove. Yeah, I would say that's got to be tough and, and, to, and, to prove. Yeah, and and just blaming others. Just I get you get so tired of hearing that. I mean, yeah, every yeah. drunk driving incident isn't the bartender's fault. No, like, no. I really matter of fact, none of them make really me are. Drink. I can't stand. One <laughs> yeah, yeah. Drink. Isn't it really such a pour me another one? Me off. Makes me feel really uncomfortable. Well, we got to twist your arm a lot. I know, Jeff. I mean, jeez. I usually got to get held down and forced drink. Yeah. Like, I've never been waterboarded with Bud Light before. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never like it when the bartender brings the funnel out. Yeah, yeah. it's like, God damn it, here we go again. Yeah. yeah. No. It's it's stupid, especially if you're an adult. If you're like a, a, a like in your in your later years, you're not like twenty one years old. Right. Well, I know life's not fair, but that's not fucking fair. At the yes. end of the day, if Jeff Doyle goes in and drinks 63,000 beers and I go out and kill somebody, <laughs> that should be nobody else's fault no, but mine. Absolutely no, not. I mean, absolutely that's, that's just, not. I mean, I'm, 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 not, I'm not making light of that situation, but that's just crazy. Yeah. No, crazy. Yeah, absolutely People no. Don't idiots. blame others. Self-awareness. Yeah. The call I see cab anyway. Yes. 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 Prevent yes. all this Please stuff. Do. They'll pull you right out of that bar. Yes. That should be their next thing. We'll pull you right out of the bar. That's the thing, too. I know for me. Hey, there's another commercial right there, Joe. Oh, yeah. God yeah, drunk in the bar and we were taking him out. Oh, we could yeah, shoot yeah. that down at the club. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Perfect. I, I was we could probably get like a guy to really oh, behave could, that you way. Know, you don't you have need, to act. No actors. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a surprise casting. Like, Come on, you're coming with us. You know, Who actually, are you guys? What do they say it, usually at the end of that kind of stuff? These are actors of this? Like, yeah. nope, no. these are real <laughs> people. Real these people. are real people. Yeah, these are not These are real active drunks. What's the, what's the, well, here's a good question. What's the worst you've ever seen somebody in a bar? Oh, uh, I've seen some shit. I mean, I've seen somebody puke at a bar. I've seen puke at a bar. I've seen passed out a bar. I, Christ, we were a uh, long, long time ago at a strip club, and some dude literally thought he was hiding himself by just going with his hand right up here and oh, started boy. puking everywhere. Oh, <laughs> boy. Everywhere. I mean, uh, I, I've seen balls. Like, generations up at Wesley before they shot it down. Well, no, no, it wasn't generations. Down. It was... Uh, Pickle, I think it was Pickle. Was oh, it was Max, oh, Max, Max Club. Club. Max Club. Oh my yeah. gosh, that place was, was Max a Club. And dude, that bar was not. I mean, it was 50, 80 people. Did fighting. that come out into the parking lot? Yeah, so it started inside the the bar, like inside the restaurant area, and someone threw a first punch, and it just were these, exploded. Were these guys like really, really messed up, or were they just idiots? Well, it was just college kids. You okay. know. So it may not have had as much to do with booze or yeah, just I being mean, a I'd, uh, say, were, I'd say it's I'm definitely sure got a good were, play. Because, yeah. I, I mean, I've seen guys fight when they're drinking water. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah I mean, there's bad. people that are Because there's foods. a very specific But I'm sure blame. the drunker guys probably even well, behave even worse. Were you was, there? Oh, yeah, I was filming the whole thing. <laughs> I have I still have videos, but I'm sitting up on a bar filming it. it was, I like, like when girls get in like fights. like a, like if you watch his old West movies, he's like a gunslinger when the <laughs> yeah. fight starts. He like, boom, he's out, then the video starts. I rolling. mean, I'm seeing people getting knocked out left and right. They're breaking through rail on Tables are getting flipped. People are getting slammed in the parking lot. <laughs> I do remember that. You it, may it not know this. Insane. Was it all West Lip people? Yeah, it was because it was like the Westland bar, like when it had to be. Yeah, I just didn't know if like there was maybe uh, like maybe an outside person. crew uh, that it, came in and like yeah, started it was some sports shit or... teams going at it. Oh, oh shit. wow, um, it, dude, it Do you it. know who started it? Not oh, to yeah. name names. <laughs> yes, I do saw. We, do I, I, saw I know? Post- do I know? Oh, yeah. yeah, it was over hat, oh, yeah. wasn't we, it? We wasn't it over, over his hat? hat. 
What was that not over his hat? Cool. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. Wasn't we'll, it over his his hat? Didn't he get his hat stolen? Something, something? like that. That's where it started. And we'll one talk thing about it after another. the break. That's it, unbelievable. We'll it was a goddamn war zone. Like I'm, I'm like looking left <laughs> and right. Like who's gonna throw a punch at me? And it, it was. Just Have so you sad. ever been hit? Like punch? Yeah. 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 Like in a in a brawl? Not a not a brawl. Like well, I've been in some fights. Not you know, like, like not outside of you fighting somebody which is a different story so like a random time but like if you were out in a bar and there was a brawl have you ever been no hit? no i've always been scared about that because i'm always I've got have you guys times. ever been I've in a always brawl? Felt it. I, I know i've been in fights just never been hit like that no like i've got brawl, hit like a couple a, times yeah. like from the side and behind like trying to like break something shot. up yeah or, but then I, a couple times i've gotten people shoved into me and i'm ready to like who are you shoving me? And it's not their fault. They're getting thrown. Yeah. And this like, is, uh, yeah. Good that, days that at happened, Bubba's. That back happened in the to Soup. I've, I've never actually been been hit before, but that Soup got hit. And I don't even know if he, I don't think he would care if I told. Do you remember this story, Cooley? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I, I don't think it. he would care. Yeah, we were at a, at, a, at a party one time, and uh, one of our teammates got in a fight, and Soup went to, like, grab him behind to, like, pull him away, and... Right as he got pulled away, Soup got punched right in the right. face. And, yeah, you got to watch and out. And Soup, Soup comes outside, and he's, I'm like, <laughs> uh, he, he's like, I just got punched. I'm like, what? I said, what happened? He said, he said our friend's name was Barnyard. He said, Barnyard got punched, man. He's in a fight. I'm like, is he dead? Like, what? <laughs> why, why, why? What's wrong? Like, I was so confused, and, and he comes out, man. He's hurt. I'm like, I'm like, what are we doing? What are you talking about? Where was that at? Up at uh, West Lib at the old uh, baseball I, house. I, I never, imagine there have not been guys dying. Oh place. gosh, I'm such a non-confrontationalist. I can't stand confrontation. I yeah, hate it. So I hate much. it too. But if I can, normally if I get in a fight, it's because like my friends are at involved. Like, yeah, well, yeah. I've never started. Like, like yeah, yeah. yeah you I've probably have. I, th- I think you have like a switch inside you. Yeah, I because. If, if it's one thing you see people and you don't care, it's like. But then yeah, if yeah. it's somebody that you're friends with, oh or you're yeah, friend, no, then hesitate, something right. in me at least. Like if somebody was messing with you guys, I would get fired up. Yeah, like, like if we were the in, point where we were I'd in be secrets and somebody was like, yeah, well that the peace police would end that real quick. Oh uh, yeah, you're they'd right. Get, God get DDT those in, the, in the in sand. <laughs> oh, those guys be, don't mess yeah, around. <laughs> they'd be like Adam Hadwin at the Canadian yeah, Open yeah, the other yeah. day. Yeah, stunnered into the. But yeah, I, I never Hunter. took. I didn't like that. If one of my friends got messed with, I, I I've been known to get. And into usually, it. if we're out, we roll as like a that group. group yeah. So it's like if somebody gets, but. I, it's never happened to me. On the other hand, if you guys, I think I asked you this, guys, you guys, this before. Do you have, have you ever had friends who can't shut the fuck up and try to escalate problems to where you're like, I'm going to fight you myself because you're going to end up getting us all beat oh, up? I, I, like, I, I don't, I, that I, bothers me. And I have a couple yeah, of them that are like I that. I think one time Curry can be like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, yeah he, he probably listens. When he, when he, get, when, he, listen, when he, when, he listens to this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, when, coach. When he, <laughs> <laughs> when he gets, when he goes over the line, it's like, you got to, you got to reel him in because then he can say something and then you're going to be like worried about getting hit from behind. Yeah. It could be dangerous. Well, I don't think, I think there have been one. Maybe one time, and I can't remember who it was, but it was like that scenario where it's like you just got shut up and let's get out of here. Right, like, right. I think it, it could have been my dad. I think yeah. he could. I think he was. The, I think <laughs> we were dad. in a scenario where it's like I don't recall I him. I think I actually do remember this. It was with somebody. Oh, I know exactly who it was, and I can't. I'm oh, not gonna say his no, name. I know what you mean. You're talking about up at uh, Quaker Steak. And yeah, yeah, and, yeah you and are. I and I, oh, I can't wait to hear this. Yeah, now. yeah, and yeah, you are, and. I, th- I can't remember. Yeah, what your it was, dad was out of, like, out of character that night. Oh, he got very you know upset I about. It. Yeah. I wasn't there. I, yeah, I don't think I was in Florida. Yeah, I yeah, that. that's exactly. That I was night. in Florida. But I, I remember, remember it was like I, all I wanted. Yeah, I was do starting. Was say, to, I was starting to feel a little bit like, oh boy, this this, this could be a bad incident. Here. Somebody told me that. Yeah. I don't want to uh, go down that road. Yeah, but it was for a good reason. I feel like I think maybe I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Well, beer was involved. Yeah, that's another thing. If you're a violent drunk, I mean, just fucking control yourself. Yeah, just dumb. Just stupid. Just stupid. I never am like when I get drunk. I'm never like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to fight. Let's let's let somebody fight. All I want to do is hang out and have fun. Yeah, That's I mean, all I want to do. I'm a happy drunk. Yeah, yeah screw that. But there shit. are some dude. I've like at parties and things when like dudes get drunk, start shoving each other around. That pisses me off so bad. Especially if you're in a big crowd and like you're not can't move Bumping much and like 
It's 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 annoying. You've you've gotten a couple like uh, uh, scraps. Oh yeah. In defense yeah. of others. Cool yeah, that one's well, one of my favorite. Dog? One of my favorite stories ever. <laughs> the dirty dog. Yeah. When you could go ahead and talk about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah uh, I'm yeah. not scared to tell this one, but I was so sad I wasn't there. Yeah, because you were just starting to watch UFC. And <laughs> I was, was like, in oh. MM. I was like really in MMA, and I was like learning how to punch and like <laughs> do like art, like lockdowns. Learning and I was, like, how to punch. I was so <laughs> amped up, and then they went out. Well, we were at the Doty Dog. This country dude comes in, and he's just mad at the world. You know how to... Oh, and he was hammered out of his he's mind, of course. He's yelling at this girl, and he, like, ends up shoving this girl. So, I think Soup or Heron might have said something to yeah, him. Yeah, somebody... One of them said something. And then he shoved Soup. So yeah, I'll, he gives... He gets, he shoves Soup hard. hard. It was hard shove. So, so it's like, oh, so shit. Get, how like, oh, how shit, does Soup go. make you mad? Yeah, <laughs> I forget I, what... I forget what was really even there was said. A, there's a video of it, I think... Yep, I got that. I, I, <laughs> I got it. <laughs> you're like a paparazzi. You're yeah, like TMZ. Yeah. Soup's I, I, in the video, if I can recall, Soup said something like, "What? Like, why? What are yeah. you doing? Mm-hmm. Like, why are you doing that?" And then the guy just because it was bad. Like, it, it, he he like hit this girl. I remember and, you guys telling us this in the pine room vaguely. Yeah, and it, we go ahead, cool. So I, I take my jacket off. I throw it off to the side, <laughs> and I'm, I'm wrapping around behind this dude, and he stays like. Starting to say stuff to him yeah, now. Say, he calls Say the N word. Oh, well, gosh. well, I don't think Say heard. Say that. didn't hear. No. <laughs> and this I, is so funny because Say Say's like re- he's ready to go, and <laughs> and the guy I guess hit Say's lip. He like, went, he like swiped he at him and like, hit. Like, he like, he, like and he hit his lip and Say just erupted. Er- and I table. and I'm trying <laughs> me five eight <laughs> one fifty. I'm trying to hold Say. I'm like, hey, just this is not. Do you like? It's you're like gonna back a you're, I'm like you're gonna something. kill this guy, and and he then literally, I, like, I'm trying to hold him back, and I'm like, wait, why am I doing this? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything. So I just, I think I ended up just walking away, and then then it's you like went. when you see a bird on the back of a rhino just <laughs> hanging out, hippopotamus. Yeah, I'm like, I'm yeah. like holding on, but go ahead, Take a cool jockey. Dude. Yeah. Well, <laughs> next thing I know, I have this dude in the headlock. I slammed him on the ground. And then Sage comes running up. Loopy comes running into the bar. They're beating this dude up. <laughs> Good. And I, while I had him in the headlock, all I feel is these hands ripping my arm, like my headlock open. I'm like, damn, this dude is strong. Like, I'm <laughs> like, who the hell is this guy? And I look up, and it's Say and Loopy ripping this guy off me because they want him for himself. <laughs> and they got him up like against hyenas. the pool table. And he's like grabbing pool balls, and all you hear is people oh, go, geez. step back, step yeah. back. Yeah. I thought he had a gun. <laughs> He yeah, a yeah, he ball grabbed the head. pool ball. Gotta watch that. See, these that days. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. Like, if you get in fights like that now, uh-huh. I mean, we just like in the like we were talking about at the at the Nuggets celebration yeah. for the game. Yeah. So somebody gets in an altercation because he's pissed off because his fucking Heat lost. Now he's gonna start shooting. Well, I mean, you had to go there. Yeah. Well, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm saying like this guy. Well, they was they were fans of the same team. Yeah, and they were shooting right, each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. In the freaking aftermath Dumb, of the celebration. Stupid. Uh, yeah, but yeah, fights but are fights. Before are you cold. fight these days, you better be careful yeah. because yeah, you never know hey, when some idiot's got a knife or a weapon. Pat, pat, pat him down. You've seen that start to happen around here. And a lot of those guys that were coming in and out of town, those gas and oil guys, they yeah. saw a few of the guys out like. Literally packing heat, ready to kill people. Well, that's the thing. It, Scary if you stuff. get in a fight and then if you shoot somebody, I mean, could you d- no. probably could get away with it? I don't now. know what I your mean, stay in your ground laws are in West Virginia. Well, I'm depends. sure you have some, but not in your home. I mean, it's not your home. I so. watched a court or uh, a police interrogation of a guy who was um, he was a bar owner, and the guy was peeing on the wall of the opposite building. And the guy came out, and he was trying to be a tough guy and saying, "Hey, you know, it can't be doing that in my parking lot." And trying to show off for his buddies, and he made the advance on the guy. They start getting into a scrap, and then he backs up, pulls his gun out, and shoots him. Yeah. Then it's like, then it's obvious it's on him. So it depends on who's the aggressor. Yeah, and I mean, in situations where, like, say there was an armed guy that came into a place that you were there, and you had a gun too, and you saved lives by shooting him. Then yeah, yeah. But then again, some of these states are throw the book at you that. for that. Yeah, you could be, you could save twenty people's lives no and and lives, and uh, and you're somehow put in front uh, as an example. Oh, this man, he was shooting people. Was like, no, you got to know in context. Sometimes mm-hmm. guys with the guns are the good guys. Yeah. Isn't that didn't that that just happened to this marine, right? He put that dude in the middle of New yeah. York City in a subway. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. 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 he was hurting people. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, the guy was a detriment. First of all, or the whole different story. But you go down. This dude had a bad history of the mental issues and was released from hospitals multiple times. They should have never let him out. And then he goes and he's hurting people on the subway. And this guy's trying to protect him, and he chokes him out, kills him, and now he's the bad guy. Mm-hmm. 
Makes no goddamn no, sense. It's just wrong, but that's horrible. Has a lot to do with your politics, and uh, unfortunately, our military are aren't held in high regard by by certain segments of our population. Sadly. Well, back to that fight thing real quick, though. It's so sad because obviously you use that type of language in front of somebody. You deserve to have a, a true yeah. man beat down. But Big the problem time. with that, though, is at the end of the day, during a heat of – like, honestly, what does anybody getting out of that? Yeah, the know, of, That's the sucky part. But here, mm-hmm. he, does, he deserved the beat down. But yeah. at the end of the day, man, fucking I'm fighting. Not, is avoid just, it at all costs. I, 100%. I hate it. I, hate it. Yeah. I used to hate even in baseball, like when, when two teams would start chirping each other. I hated that so much. It used to freak me out. I didn't like it. <laughs> really? Fight's just scary, like, man. You don't like, know. Yeah, you don't you know. know what could you happen. You don't know what's going to happen, man. It could be the end. I mean – You that, knock somebody out, they're dead, or like you don't – you know. And then you're in an orange jacket they come back, they go out in their car and drive their car through the front of the Without bar and kill everybody. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Jeez. people do that yeah, shit. I mean, it, there's you, so many unhinged humans on the planet right now. I, I actually like confrontation, but <laughs> you have to taper it back because you yeah. can't you can't even have debates with a lot of people these days because they flip out and go nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I'm never going to ever try to hurt somebody because they didn't agree with me, yeah. but other people will. I, like, I've, I've only been pushed past my limit like twice. And I like have exploded a couple times at people, and I occasionally like you need to do that. that though. You gotta relieve the stress. Was it uh, anything? Because I'll be honest, I would love to see that because yeah. it would, would take a lot. I would imagine. Yeah, I, I don't. I usually either go the other way, or I like I don't run away from confrontation. But like if it's if it's worthy of of me getting big i i'll, I'll get loud <laughs> I get that's it. like yeah. my biggest attribute have you I'm ever like, had to get into a karate i'm like a howler before. monkey i like it if any danny danger just i just get loud i just start screaming <laughs> I, I just start yelling i don't think anybody's <laughs> ever said Make they're the like a howler monkey. Monkey. I, I am i'm like a how i'm like beat a, your chest a, a few times yeah. and they wear on <laughs> woo woo <laughs> yeah yeah god yeah <laughs> That would scare the shit out of me. <laughs> they immediately turn away. Yeah. Say, tail you, between their legs. Humor breaks everything do think, down. Do you think if I did that, like if we got in a fight and like say Cooley's like getting into, into an argument with a guy and then he comes up to me and he's like in my face and I just going, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> like you think you, do you think that would calm it down? What do you think the guy would do? I You'd would probably be surprised. You. I think I think you're going to have mixed was, emotions. You're either going to have somebody like, oh, fuck this. I ain't fucking that dude. Yeah. fighting that dude. Or second of all, they just know. Like, 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 and then I'm school. out and I wake up in the hospital. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what yeah, there's happened? no win. What happened? He made a monkey noise and then he, <laughs> he got knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough. All right, Jeff, you want to hit a couple things on these news and notes. Well, just a couple things. So I, was, I was wanted to hear about the uh, the gunfire. So it was just, it was over. That was over just a win and a loss thing. I and know. No, no, it actually, it seemed to be like there's a, a giant group of people celebrating out on like Market Street in Denver after the win, and two dudes have bump into each other or whatever and get into an altercation, and one dude pulls a gun, starts shooting at, at a guy or a couple guys, and he hits like nine other innocents, which they a lot of them, pretty much all of them were. Uh, but yeah, just they're both rooting for the same team. It sounded like they're wow. celebrating the Nuggets' first ever NBA title, and then some idiots got to ruin it by firing a weapon. I mean, what what could have been, what could have happened there? Yeah. Short of, I mean, even if a guy's trying to take your wallet, like you can grab him and mm. hit him, but you yeah. don't have to shoot him. Especially in a crowd Sorry. of people. Yeah, yeah, I mean yeah. that that should be that guy. No, I probably I, I don't I think, think they, they said maybe two suspects. They got one. Yeah, and they thought those, maybe a second immediately, guy. immediately those two should be put on. Like some sort of watch list or a a, <laughs> a not fly list, like a some kind of list where if they got like no, obviously if they if they are that reckless with a gun, I'm sure they didn't get. Uh, I'm sure they probably didn't do a lot of legal yeah. Not, things uh, nine people got shot and three were critically hurt, man. like bad. Those big crowds scare me, man. Like, wow, yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, isn't that wrong. isn't that so messed up though? It is like sad. we can't the way even they go behave. like enjoy like uh, uh, an event just, because you. A, they're all hammered. Yeah, they're and all you just, can't just be out there celebrating and like cheering or singing your fight yeah. song or whatever. Yeah. You got people burning cars, flipping stuff mm-hmm. over, climbing those. Uh, in Philadelphia, they uh, grease Philly. the poles so yeah. they can't climb yeah. up yeah. on top of them. It's so, it's so, and I always am against stuff like this, especially with sports because I don't think it's worth near the the <laughs> no. the, the the hype and the 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 
lengths that people go to. But like, can you imagine if you were in in Denver and you had like a maybe a, a an urban apartment or like something downtown, and you get up the next day and your car's destroyed. over on fire and all everything oh, in it's, it's just destroyed. like with those riots that happened in the in last few summers with the you know the shootings of the, of the kids or whatever you want to oh, say, the Pol- yeah. And all that. But then the, every all these property owners, like you said, job or people that live downtown. Very scary. Yeah. And, and you have nothing to do with that. You got to shop down there. It's your entire well-being, your whole livelihood mm-hmm. being destroyed just because guys are idiots. And, and it's no even excuse. worse, like, uh, f- in... in yeah, for this a, was a celebratory that's thing. That's the thing. Right. It's even yeah. worse for a sport. Like, you won a basketball game. You didn't win the war. We didn't beat, like, Korea. In Correct. The, we won a... Ba- you won a basketball game. That's how game. sheltered uh, we are as a, as a nation. And that's people... Mm-hmm. I, that's why you disagree with people that want to destroy history. Because even though history wasn't always good, we need to be make people aware of that, of what was really important, not the nuggets and the heat. Yeah, right. Like, yeah, okay, that's great. You have beer yeah. with your friends. You're celebrating. You buy the championship shirt. You drink beer. You smoke dope. Do whatever. <laughs> I, do a few eight balls of coke. I, 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 I Keep it to yourself. Yeah, don't yeah. hurt anybody else, I, man. I, I got to say, I, I, would, this, I don't know. This sounds like bad, but I don't know if you guys even agree with this. I... I I was almost relieved when I saw that it was an, over an altercation rather than like a targeted right. Like, no, I, I like too, somebody, somebody with an assault rifle in a window shooting that, at people. That's a, that's a great point because uh, in that's in today's point. world, when you're reading these headlines, and I'll be very honest with you, and I, this is a terrible way to think. Again, I think about that, and then I'm like, I I actually am worried about like what this is going to do. Like, okay, how is this going to be played politically? How is this going to look? And and is it going to be uh, like this, and as a Christian, as a Catholic, like I'm always like, oh geez, I hope a Christian didn't go kill someone of another religion. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah, it's it's a, it's a very uncomfortable world we live in. And you're right, you start no, thinking was, that it's like, thank God this guy wasn't on top of a building sniping these yeah, people, like I, in Vegas and, and, and Dallas I, when they did that. Like, yeah, because because I like when you see the news mass shooting, I'm like, oh, oh yeah. Fuck, yeah, here like, we go, oh, again. Here, yeah, here we go. But this I, I was, like, this I was, just was a couple relieved that, yeah, to see that. Sad like, that that's what we're we're relieved about that. But yeah, you're right. But I tell you this much, and I know, and I apologize, because sometimes I'm very redundant on this show. Until we make an example, though, like until people are fearful of pulling out a gun and doing a mass shooting and and going to prison the rest of your life, obviously isn't deterring people. Uh, Potential death penalty isn't deterring people. We have to go to that extreme, I know it's crazy, biblical times. Oh, no doubt about it. One time. Just one time, and I guarantee nobody would think about pulling out a gun at it's something dumb time or whatever. It's we just, um today in history today it was King, who who was who's the one that got executed in France? King uh oh King Louis the Sixteenth. King Louis the Sixteenth. No, he just he, he he was talking bad about uh yeah, well he basically he he dismissed the government and then uh the people that created the French Revolution just overthrew he dismissed him and the government so they they. Oh, they, they said, all right, <laughs> yeah. all right, you don't like us, we're going to cut your head yeah. off. <laughs> and they took him God, into yeah. a crowd of people, like 200,000 people. They cut his head off. They pulled, picked his head up, and everybody cheered. Can you imagine if we do that now? Like, say, a shooter, we should, we should, uh, and we shouldn't promote violence they, on they the podcast. They do this in other countries. 100% That's, they do. Like, if in, in the Middle East, they're, they're, they do public and that, hangings. Still. And that guy really didn't even do. If you look at the grand scheme compared no, to no. shooting it, people, no, no, he really no. didn't even that, do anything wrong. The, that'd just be the, disagree. Yeah, correct. Yeah. That'd be like our government officials. Just like every day, there was an argument in Congress. Like I got his head like, cut yeah, off. It's, it's a, that, <laughs> yeah. that is like Ned Stark. That I mean, is it's wild. Weird. That that there is, is a, a town square. There's a there. They they re, they, they led this sell guy for that. They led this guy for hours down the street in a caravan, and they had this fanfare playing because people were in in support of this king. So there were people there that actually didn't want to see him get his right. head lopped off. And the, there were fanfare, and there were like 200 armed soldiers that were guarding the caravan that was taking him to this place. And there were like 200,000 people there. And like I said, he got his head sliced off, and everybody thought it was awesome. It's yeah. like Ned Stark. Isn't yeah. that insane, Ned Stark, though? Cersei like, Lannister's that walk down happened. The- like, <laughs> you could take your son and daughter to go watch the former king get his head ripped off of his body. You, like, that is wild. old stories about that, uh, even in our country, when they would public executions and, like, people would pack picnic lunches yeah. and stuff and go to well, it. That's like that. But like, Jeff, Jeff is right about that, though. 
If we started to do that a little bit more, I, I mean, it would make me think twice if I was a troublemaker. Like, listen, so, I, I don't want to be. This is not how I want to end. Like, like I, I'm gonna, like, honey, I'm gonna go get a corn cob and a fresh squeezed lemonade right before the guy gets his head cut. Pick up the <laughs> like, pick up the kids from school and let's <laughs> yeah. go yeah. hang it. Get them yeah. out of school. Like, can you imagine if we went down like where you guys went to Warwood School in the little playground over at Garden Park and they did the execution in there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, there's everybody in the town there ready to go. Here we go. And, and Champ was the guy that swings the sword. Yeah. Like, uh, those executioners, he wore mask, like the, yeah. those executioners were like celebrities. They oh, were yeah. cele- people loved them. The the, the drop the guillotine or cut people's head off. The, the people loved them. Yeah. Can you imagine that being your job? Hey, but I, I, I great job that guy. You great swing. Ah, your swing was a little <laughs> high. He got, he got part of his chin. <laughs> yeah, that's actually that. Uh, speaking of that, that actually, and I don't want to read it on the radio. Um, the 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 guillotine was too high, yeah. and it cut like half of his head off. <laughs> Yeah. It, <laughs> it didn't get the throat. It got up no, high, it too, got high. too high. Yeah, too high in his face. Wow. It cut his How head. How did that miscalculation happen? I don't know. What? Like, but they still held it up and cheered. Like they they should boo him. What about when we were? At the, <laughs> yeah, they at the, should boo him. What about uh, when we were at the prison say. talking about the exactly what executions and how that like the guys didn't die sometimes? Oh my god! Or like they yeah, go to well, electrocute yeah, them and they, they melted. Like and they, a, they had people come and watch, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. She said that people could come in. That is wild. That you wouldn't even, okay. if you thought about that today, if you, if you like objectively asked a person, you said, how would you feel about a public execution? There's no way that like that would even remotely be on the, the, the docket of things that could be accepted today. There's no oh, way. Not even close. There's well, no way. Depending on what population you were talking to. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's I a mean, few. <laughs> that depends on the culprit. Yeah. Hey, it's Friday. I can't. I, once I get done with science class, we're going to watch Tim get his head <laughs> sliced. Yeah, super off. jacked up. Instead of going to the movie theater, that's yeah. what we're going to do tonight. Oh, it's different times yeah. and uh, yeah, yeah, barbaric yeah. times. But Trigger maybe we need some of that again. 100%. I like us just being able to sit here and talk. Yeah. About yeah. it, not actually be there. Yeah. I don't. I don't need to go watch that. No. I mean, it'd be. It'd be. Let me see. Word this here. Uh, it would be. It would be good. If somebody that did something really bad, if yeah, I have no thing. problems watching that. Right, like if somebody like a, a child molester or oh, whatever, yeah. I would line them up pop, pop, one yeah, after Jeff, another. Jeff I'll would be, have a big foam finger. Yeah, I'll that. be <laughs> cheering for that for that executioner too. But it is weird the degree of crimes that you would commit in the older days. Oh my god! I mean, literally, if you walked off from your military platoon, you could get done. firing oh, squad head chopped off, no hanged. Doubt. Uh, in, in theft, petty theft, you could get hung for. Yeah, if you were like a peasant, banana. you could you could get killed for just about anything. Yeah. But uh, no, I, I the wild. So West. Part of me says let's bring that stuff back, but uh, getting me to actually go to it, um, I don't know. I say I could do it, but I don't know. I mean, it'd be a tough thing. Would to be that dude. I'd have no problem. If it was a bad, if it was a bad yeah. person, then I, I then I could be good with it too. But yeah. I it's wouldn't tough. want somebody to just to like a guy uh, robs a Kroger and he yeah he steals a banana. Yeah, I don't yeah. know about all that either. Yeah, yeah it's we could like hammer all these code. We could bring that back. Yeah. But if he stole five bananas in a row, fucking cut him oh, yeah. off. <laughs> cut him off. That not five. <laughs> five in a row. Five, five, hey, he hey, got a stern warning on the fourth. <laughs> no. Fifth hands See, are gone. What'd you say? Head, head, head lopped off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lopped, lopped, lopped off. off. All right. Before we go to break, anything else on this news and notes thing we want to hit? There's a bunch of stuff that we talked on the radio on here. Jeff, Jeff you see the, uh, the only other thing that I have not heard about the High County Schools ending deal with the sheriff's office. Who yeah. are they bringing in? Are they bring like an outside source. No, well, they're they're gonna go ahead. Oh no, yeah, um, yeah. We talked about it on the show today, and we're, hopefully we're gonna have uh, Superintendent uh, Doctor Miller on to talk more about this and some other stuff. But uh, they're 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 uh, they're uh, I don't want to say disbarring. Uh, they're dissolving their partnership yeah. with the sheriff's office because the sheriff's office has had a raise in. The twenty three percent raise that they have to pay mm-hmm. these guys, so the deputies. So uh, they're they're saying it's a cost cutting measure, which is questionable. And then, uh, but they are going to try to employ retired um, ex cops, uh, you know, law enforcement people from the area. But we talked about today. We feel like that's not an area you want to skimp on. Yeah. And no, cool. Exactly. Speaking of you being in the school now. Um, I mean, I would. We we were all in the agreement yeah. of you should pay these people. Costs should not matter. And and the retired guys, nothing against them. 
but maybe they're not up on uh, all the, the the latest type of law enforcement. Uh, just not not even like this the behavior and the codes well, and things, but just the system yeah, you, itself. Yeah, how kind things of been work. Out for it for but, a while. I mean, I, we thought having both of them were was the logical thing because you need more than less of these guys. And mm-hmm. you know, you just had a son graduate to school up there. I mean, that's like an entire well, I mean, colony, like a its own compound. That school, you need more guys than than not enough. And and we thought that. that this was a questionable decision, but I mean, yeah, it's better a, safe than sorry. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, and, and if you want to hire, I think we we said it on the radio today. If you want to hire retired guys, that's great. And but but I think those retired guys should be on top of correct what you already hire. So you mm-hmm. should be have active duty officers in that building because if I'm a kid in there, I want the best of the best in mm-hmm. there. Like being able to react as as quickly as possible and move as quickly as possible. And then on top of that, if you want backup i think then it'd be good to have right. these uh, retired the, the more you have the better and nothing against the retired no not at all you know but officers I mean, it's the reality is the reality yeah, yeah. and I you mean, retire at a certain mean. age because yeah. you're probably not quite as sharp as you once were yeah. and that's okay yeah that's it is okay. okay and um but we thought it, it's it's a tough time in the country to be to be skimping on that mm-hmm. stuff i mean 23 percent okay but you got you guys have money like don't yeah. pretend you don't man yeah. like you were, you were saying i think um fuck i lost my train of thought what the hell was i gonna say Oh, we hope that they, they, you know, maybe they'll, they'll. Yeah, kind of I'm sure the board. I'm sure they're going to have discussions about yeah. it, or they're going to they're going to employ some, more wheeling cops because they still have some wheeling cops. So I guess they had split up. They yeah, have some wheeling. They have some, some sheriff office guys, and then some wheeling city cops. So hopefully they at least cover it to where they have this presence because yeah. today more than ever, and we talked. We always say oh, it can't happen here. Or small. Uh, I would I'd say, sadly, it's only a matter of time before this happens close to home. Mm-hmm. Um, and each year that goes by, is, and like your dad said, and like Coach said, it's more likely to happen, sadly. And we we're talking, where we live in. Wheeling right? Park is like Matt, it's Matt's like a said, giant it, city. It's like a, it's it's own, like, it's like a campus. Well, it is. Yeah. At least 1,600 and, kids plus all the teachers. And, and, You're and talking. If, if it's you, so vast of a building. From have, one end of the building, you could have an attacker yeah. just shooting at people have, and the other end you could cool he could be marching his class down the hall right into the the you know the fire and we you said no idea we said some so people big. some people say that having armed police officers is is, is like daunting or uh threatening yeah, like intimidating in shut the but fuck up Jesus to God. me yeah i couldn't like every time i passed them in the hallway or when they were stationed out in the front of the building that made me feel good. Like yeah. that made me feel like if something goes down, it's like the same way when you're passing in your neighborhood. Like if there's a cop parked in your neighbor's, uh, or if he lives next to you, we have a bunch. We have a couple in Clearview that live. We have sheriff's deputies and some yeah. state troopers that live in in Clearview, and that just makes you feel good because they're there to protect you. Well, they're not there to intimidate. And you. like we said on the radio, you guys, myself, everybody in this room was brought up to respect people so you you had that in your mind as a young kid like okay the police are there to help you like and you you need to show them respect and i i under, i don't i can't put myself in the in the shoes of big city minority kids and how they feel about the police and and i know that there's bad things that have gone on there uh but here in wheeling i can tell you this i i've rarely ever seen um police mistreat anybody based on uh, their race well, or anything like that. I mean, I'm sure it happens, but very few instances, I would say. And I'd say, for the most part, you know, around here, that's not really an excuse I feel is valid. And, uh, to say, oh, you, we shouldn't have a cop in the school because I'm afraid, you know, yeah. from my, my past or the neighborhood I live in, they're mean to us. Or I, I don't think that's viable. Like I, I'm, I'm very, we're very close with um, Scott Goodnight, who was a former state state trooper, I think he was state yeah, trooper. Yeah, state Jay. trooper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, my uncle is the sheriff, uh, and th- if you talk to those guys, all they're there is is, is help you. That's right. it. I, I I remember I was being actually it's a funny story, and I won't say his name because we're doing business with him these days. Uh, he was uh, we were being followed uh, in a car late at night, we were in followed. And I was like, I'm, I genuinely feel like I'm about like, this is not good. And I was getting followed behind me when I was in the car with somebody else. And, um, first thing I did was call Scott Goodnight. Cause I knew he's a, and he, this was so nice. Help me out. And to me, that is what they're there for. They're there to help you out. I mean, if things go South and I, like I mentioned on the radio, if something goes down in that school, they're going to be the first ones that, like, they're the first yeah. ones that are going to come running 
towards. I don't know why. You hope at least. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you hope. Yeah, and, yeah. And you yeah. talked about the word. Like, I don't know why this just drives me up a wall. But like, you talked about how people. Um, it's daunting to go by a sheriff that's got a gun in the school system. And, like, it bothers people. They're the same pricks at the beginning of the school year that bitch to complain about the active shooter drill. Correct. But here's I was going to mention that today. I forgot. It's a great point, But Jeff. here's the deal. I mean, if your kid's in that school, you want training for that. Like, yeah. why are we – why? Yeah, what? It's no different than – It's not than, hurting it's, anybody. It's not hurting anybody. And for any parent to bury their head that this isn't a real fucking problem across our – not even our country, our fucking world. I mean, that right. dude the other day in, what, the U.K. was going around I'm fucking stabbing people just in a normal yeah, I part. Saw that, like, so it's, kids. it's yeah, so it's everywhere. So for people to get pissed or they say that, you know, they kids shouldn't have. Well, guess what? We're in the 21st century. You know what? No, kids shouldn't have to deal with it, but it's our fucking reality, yeah. and awesome. they should know have to. It's either that or it. they may end up dead. dead. Like, yeah. Yeah. Or they, they could so save somebody and, else. Life and death. I mean, like, shut it, the fuck we, up. We did do that training at the beginning of the year, and, and that first semester we had it. A scare, like we thought there might be a shooting. Yeah. Right, I remember that. Every yeah. teacher and student knew what to do. We, yeah. Everybody right. was good. We it's all great. like. Well, they did. You guys did say. I think you and Nick said it was impressive how truly everybody fell into line and did what they were supposed to. So obviously, training fucking works. And I'm not. And I wouldn't be much to. I'm not. I don't like to. Sometimes I do. I don't like to judge people on like a grand scale, but I guarantee you that if something, God forbid, and hopefully I'm not. I'm long dead before anything happens. The same people that bitch about Without the training, the same people that bitch about the cops, guarantee you're the first ones to raise the rally and cry if something Without bad happens. They definitely are. Without a doubt. It's like that when when they uh, all the politicians say, oh, guns, you shouldn't have any guns, you shouldn't have any guns, but then they got 15 armed guards around, around them and they're their, going exactly, to their, right? their parties or their mm -hmm. group gatherings. Yeah. It's it's hey, hey, hypocritical uh, society. To br bring the, I'm going to bring the uh, the mood up real quick, guys. I think we might we might we might have made it. The Capitol Theater uh, in Wheeling just followed us. Hey, there we uh, go. So we're we're doing acting, a show our acting there. might, our <laughs> acting <laughs> just, just. Oh shoot! Uh, I didn't even think yeah, of that. Yeah, that's our acting. That's oh, what I'm saying. Oh my god! Oh. Our, our commercial. They, yeah. uh, they must want us. Oh, hey, it's better. I love it. They yeah. must oh, want us god. to do a show. We're doing Pine Room. You know what ice. it is? Uh -huh. They look back at the second episode with you two cats in front. Going oh yeah, yeah, that's right. The first one they had. Menopause the musical. Oh, he's All come right. a long way since then. Yeah, huh? stick with us. We're gonna we're gonna lift the spirits hopefully in the next quarter. So right. next, Some geez, great next historical third. events that'll yeah. be very uplifting. <laughs> You're listening to the Pine Room Podcast, but you don't just have to listen to the podcast. We have some other stuff out there too, like Better's Last Stand, our sports betting show covering all things sports and betting. Or Soup and Stuff, where Soup sits down with business owners, athletes, and other professionals for good conversation. Or, if you want to listen to us live, you can tune into The Watchdog, FM 98.1 or AM 1600. Or, you can listen live online at thewatchdognetwork.com. You're listening to the Pine Room Podcast. All right, we got a third left Stick with us if you made it this far. Thank you for listening to the Pine Room Podcast, episode 62. We're glad to be with you. We're uh, we're rolling along. we got a lot of things going on right now. We've gained, I think, over 20 followers in the past couple days on Instagram and on social media. It's really, uh, we got we got, we got a little fire cooking under us right now. Let's so we're, hopefully it's keeping going and you're enter enter entertained by our uh, our talks of shenanigans here on the, on the show. Uh, you want to hit any of these history? Uh, I know we talked about some of this on the radio. There were a couple on here. Um, but if we want to hit, a if anybody's got a nail on any of these, let's do it right now, and uh, we'll, we'll go back in time. Uh, oh, you... there's got to be something on here. Well, speaking of the radio, uh, June 14th, 1922, Warren G. Harding, the 29th president of the United States, becomes the first president to address U.S. citizens over the radio. Yeah. Isn't that mm -hmm. pretty cool? I think it was real, like, it was real uh, tin, tinny. It was like, uh, <laughs> radio was it back in those days, though. Man. Yeah, it was. Too. People gathering around to listen to that, and then when FDR did the fireside chats. But I think Warren G. would have came on our uh, show. Warren G. Yeah, he's Warren, the rapper. Is a yeah, rapper. I was gonna say Warren that G. sounds like a regulate. Yeah, yeah regulate. Yeah, that's a good song. That's like a good it. song. I agree with that. Uh, did you? Are you guys a fan of uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho? I, I like Alfred Hitchcock a lot. I watched it as a kid. I wouldn't watch it now. That's probably. like, the, is that the scene where she, he opens yeah. the curtain? She goes, ah, yeah. with a knife. Yeah. I'm, I'm not so much Psycho, but some of his other movies, like The Birds and a couple of the other ones. That, oh, The that Birds. Movie Birds scary. Very, very big fan of that. I, I, I think that movie's really, really good. 
<laughs> Very big fan. That lady was uh, the ladies in the phone booth. Oh, I hated that so much. In the oh. in the with the birds, oh. or was it a guy? No, there was a well. Wait, are you? And the birds when she's in the phone booth and they they're breaking through the glass in the phone booth. I think it was a girl. I think, that is but terrifying. I could. But in some of those scenes in that when they're in that diner and, and speaking and, of movies about flying things that are scary, I remember when we back when movie gallery was a thing in Warwood, we had like the platinum package and we could get like yeah, whatever yeah. you wanted. You guys were there. It was oh, awesome. Every, every week after no, no, it was like every. every I think Friday. it was every Friday after school. I remember you guys would we come in with a sack load of oh, games. We would like shit. fucking like and ten games. We yep. in the, so in the front there were the game or in the middle like there were the games and in the back and on the sides there were the movies and I remember we got this movie called Pterodactyl and <laughs> we thought it was going to be this cool dinosaur movie. And it ended up being this horror movie about these people <laughs> on an island, and these pterodactyls are like killing people. Ooh. And I'll never forget how mortified I was. This dude gets picked up by a pterodactyl, and like he's screaming, he goes away, and then they cut away from it, and then they cut back into guys like ripped in half <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the nest. And he's like his guts are everywhere. I was terrified. I remember watching that on the big the tube TV in the basement. Well, real quick on that note, how cool is it back in the day? You guys are right. Like that was a highlight. Like for me, it would more oh. be like blockbuster. But I'm gonna take it yes. just to show the different generations in this room because Matt, you'll be on the same page. Our highlight would have been going to Manini's. And getting pizza and getting a movie because they had a movie shop. And Manin- Manin- Where's Manini's? Was the on pizza. Fourth Street. Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, they're redoing the building right now uh, in Warwood. Just it right on the main drive. Hometown drag Manini's Pizza was the bomb well, back right in the day. down here where Aunt Janie lived, like right just over across the oh, road. Oh, really? Like, there was an awesome. It was a hometown pizza place. was phenomenal. Just and you'd down be able the road get, from there. Be able to go get movies. And then uh, as the older you got and you got to know the Menini's guys, they also had the porn section. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so <you> got, so, <laughs> hey, Chris might so have went in there a few times. So, nice. so, so as a young teenager and stuff, I get to go, you they get some pizza. You, they little, give you a little nudge. Little, hey. hey, you can get one. It's a, a back door. <laughs> yeah. Champs in there waiting for can you. you uh, extra pepperoni. This is uh, an uh, adult uh, speak, so if your <laughs> kids are in your car, cover their ears. Uh, can d- Have you ever been into an adult superstore? Yeah. Like gone in there for like uh, fun or to purchase things? We uh, actually, I don't know if you guys want this story or not, but I'm going <laughs> to We went to, uh, there was a place called Fritz the Cat. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've right. been there. Yeah. So it's kind of the same concept. Yeah. And you, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but there was a, a genie. A genie glass. You yeah, yeah. you go in, you put a couple quarters in, oh. gla- glass, go, the thing goes back, and a ch- chick's back there and oh, taking nice. on clothes and this and that. Cool. And um, one night we were all, there was a whole bunch of us, we were all fucked up. We all went in a big van okay, up there right. and went up there and literally this. So girl, you didn't go for like a legitimate purchase. You didn't go. Oh, no, it was Jeff fucked up. <laughs> Jeff did. Jeff. Jeff went there on like a Wednesday afternoon and goes, kind of pick a few things yeah. up after work. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to leave this story for another time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. But I, was like, I have. I, have you guys ever went to any? I've never I've been to never one. Been. Yeah. Went to that Lion's Den out there in oh, Quaker yeah. City. Yeah. I went out there with a few friends of mine, girls and guys, just goof around, just walk through it and see mm-hmm. what the hell it was. Dang. And I had been to Fritz the Cat too, but that was more of like a with your friends it was like a spectacle thing too you like I, I don't think i ever bought anything in there at all no, because i wouldn't uh, even know what to buy or why i would want to buy it, it. It, but i mean they got stuff in there just blow your mind like, uh, you know they also imagine. have though do you guys know that for the truck drivers they also had booths quarter oh, yeah. booths you Lot pulled lizards. it in, and yeah. literally you go in there and you oh, some of them porns. have glory holes too oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah isn't that crazy though can you chris, fucking imagine you get insane. off the road on like yeah just gonna man. go did chris ah. chris tell that story on this on this podcast so like a crazy. long time ago when he went there one time the lines then in quaker city and i don't know if he was just goofing around or just went out there for something to do taking a drive like he likes to do it he saw the old baseball pitcher rick rushell out there no, no. yeah he was buying, <laughs> he was buying a, plugs? a combo <laughs> pack of porn tapes it was like, <laughs> like, like like i don't know i don't even know the the yeah. genres but like yeah it's a combo pack and chris said it was rick rushell pitched for a bunch of different teams. <laughs> that's in, crazy. That's incredible. Yeah. That's the thing. I would be mortified yeah, to like. I'd have to walk in with like a mask. Yeah. On can you imagine you like go in there and you're on your way out and like you're like like your neighbors taking a walk <laughs> by. The whole like, family's walking down <laughs> yeah. the sidewalk. I never bought anything, but I, some of my friends did. Some of the girls on. I was friends with. Too? They bought like dildos and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. can you know, you, good I, for them. Yeah. Good for them. Do you think? <laughs> do you think that's like? <laughs> like your um, how how do you go about getting a job there? Like how is that? You the know first place you get it. You're a freak of nature. Because yeah. you you're probably about, the owner's. Can you think about the weirdos that go in and out? You know of how there? much fun you'd have working at that job, dude. 
it would be fun. It would be a blast. You get every Tom, Dick, and Harry. I'll tell you what. It ought to be a place where we ought to go out there and interview people there. Without a doubt. And actually, take your dad to that. No disrespect to your no disrespect to your place work. It would probably be like the track. You'd have the high of high class to the low of low class. Everybody in between. Yeah. Yeah, uh, bottom of the fun. barrel. We Wonder what that small talk is like at the register. Like, like, do do. Oh, oh. What about nice. when they when they buy those selection. like That's great selection. some of that stuff's like. almost like bordering the uh, on the line of being illegal. No, like I'm when you sh- get those like barely legal and then those oh, bondage sure ones. Are. That's wow. got to be uncomfortable. Just anyway. <laughs> yeah, like you see but like, somebody but then you that, like right? doesn't that does that change like if you didn't know me or you like casually knew me and I came in and you were the clerk there, Job and. <laughs> And I was buying uh, these like violent things, and you're like, like "Geez, I kind of thought this guy was all right, but <laughs> I, now I'm not so sure." Oh sure, man, like, it, does it, would that make you change your thoughts or something? I think, I think no, you, because I think at the end of the day, what happens behind closed doors yeah, is good no, for them. I guess, yeah, I guess good for if, people. My, right? That was what I always argued about when when there was that big and Jeff, you probably remember this, and it was you guys were probably just starting to get into video games, but there was that like big thing about video games being too violent and they're oh, leading yeah. to anger. But I always thought. And I always told my mom this, basically to rationalize why I wanted to play the games. It's <laughs> like, Mom, would you rather me be shooting people on here or in real life? Yeah. So I get rid yeah. of my aggression on here, playing Vice City and shooting <laughs> cops yeah. on there, which I, I would never think of doing. Like, and I like, like but, running your car. But it's down like the it, it's like your release for that. Yeah. So, so again, like you said, Jeff, maybe it I, is. Just, I tell you what, behind I, closed doors, I, it's all good as long yeah. as you don't behave that way in society. There I remember go. so vividly going like gone on family parties, going in your basement, oh, yeah. playing Vice City yeah, down like, in the basement. Oh room. yeah, we're to shoot shoot some girl. <laughs> <Taking> <laughs> like yeah. well, the one you could get there, and you could bring the girls into the car and like basically oh, yeah. assault like a them. Yeah. Too, right? yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah huh? that, you, that, game. Those games are oh, just man. incredible. Do you guys believe? Honestly, do you? I know you guys are big gamers. Do you guys believe that shit? I yeah. wrote a paper on it. My eighth, you know, sophomore year of high school, I wrote a paper on why I didn't think that video games have a direct response yeah. to people's like reactions to society i wrote like a 10 page paper it's like my i think it might have been my senior year and i like i went deep into it because it's near and dear to my heart and i from what i read more often than not the reason that anybody would ever take any of that behavior into the public is is due to prior I was going to say, because mommy, mommy and daddy didn't love them. Yes. Yeah, yes. Prior mental No doubt. There's stress. mental scars, things yes. that happen to them. That's like the kids that mutilate pets and stuff, and then they end yes. up being serial yeah. killers. I mean, so many people. I mean, I, I know... You guys know dozens and dozens of your friends that have played oh my role-playing God. kill games. How oh, many of them have Jesus. ever killed anyone? No. None. No. Like, uh, it's yeah. It, we would all be like that if that was the case. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd be in bad I shape if that was Call the case. Call of Duty since we were like eleven. I mean, right. Well, yeah, I mean, and it doesn't make you want to go life. out and assassinate no. people in the streets. No. <laughs> no. Well, we've used the word a hundred times, but accountability right. once again. It. I mean, it's just we're right. we just let's blame the company, sue them. It's like people that smoke fourteen packs of cigarettes a day and then sue the tobacco. And the only thing. The only thing that I think I uh, I don't really remember much from my the paper, but I do remember it was like one of the points that I made was if if you're concerned about your 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 kids' well being, do as the game suggests and wait until they're a certain age. Like yeah. I wasn't able to buy Grand yeah. Theft Auto unless my parents signed mm-hmm. bought well, it for me. We talked about it before on here when Mortal Kombat came out, you couldn't buy it. Like it was like yeah. NC seventeen. So you had to get your mom had to vouch for it. It wasn't yeah. like you were gonna yeah, get, yeah. get your hands on it. And we were I we were like that too. Like she let us get that stuff as we got older, but and most of what you'll see this thing like watching a movie your dad's not gonna be popping a porn flick on or a violent movie when <laughs> yeah, you're four like it, although you did put Southern Comfort down as your yeah, favorite that was movie that, when you were like that, six that was well, hold on, that was hold on Matt. in today's day and age I mean even in front of the White House they're allowed to show titties and stuff now yeah, yeah how that about that bad. Bad. disgracing that, our that, that was pretty that cool that was bad yeah, but I, I just don't believe any of that stuff. I seriously think, once again, yeah. it's just people just using right. something. As and a if you're coming from a good home, I mean, yeah. and a more majority of the like the the uh, the um, incidents where there is violence, do like um, in a household, like where a kid would take a gun and shoot his parents. It was most it was most of the cases. It was as very young kids that didn't understand that this is a, a game, like that I'm playing game right now. So, like I said, wait until your kids are of the mental capacity to be able to do that kind of mm-hmm. thing. So or 
uh, you either taught I mean, him well. You kind of understand when you're playing a video game, even when you're young. It's like this is a game. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 it's a game. I never so, had that problem. So it's ever. different. Like if you're in a household where you know it's terrible, but this stuff happens. Like where the dad is actually beating up the mom or yeah, like yeah. pistol whipping her. Yeah. There is violence in the house, and, and there's like those a, kids tend to end up being okay. That kid's playing a video game, and then he takes it because he's seen it in real life, and then he and translates the it to are real blurry. right. So, yeah, scary stuff there. It is well, scary it, it, stuff. It's all about the home you grew up yeah. in. You, be most smart. Kids can handle it if you got parents that, that are going to you know guide you along. This I'm is sure funny, you. not funny, but because all of us dads are the same. I'm sure your dad was the same. When your, maybe not so much your dad because your dad's <laughs> pretty laid back. But we were down in Morgantown for baseball games all day. And the, the, the complex we were at, you had little guys all the way up to the – Legion level, and um, some dad was walking with his kid. We watched them walk out, and then all of a sudden, we watched them walk back in. And the wind, our windows were down. The kid forgot to put his cleats in his baseball oh, bag. Oh yeah, that was the worst feeling. That's in the whole, world. That's, and I'm telling you what, like I could see, like unfortunately, you you when you're looking from your car and you see it now, and your son's 18, and I know that I'm sure I did that to Luke at some point in time. <laughs> but it is, it's just a really bad look. But I guarantee 95 percent of parents are doing the same thing. Like, hey, I, I mean, he's literally telling the kid, I told you to double check your bag, blah blah blah. And then the kid, the kid, poor kid, wasn't keeping up with his dad. He's like, if you think I'm doing this on my own. <laughs> Get your ass up here right now. <laughs> oh my God. Now, I swear, I'm not lying. I have I have recurring dream of me forgetting. And I haven't played. I'm, I've been retired from baseball for a year. I have a recurring g- dream every now and then of me forgetting my, my stuff at the field. Did like, you do it? No, no, I, I never. I, I, I bet you did. A I don't think I uh, ever. Yeah. <laughs> in call, in, did he in do? College, did he leave? I, like when, I, well, when you were young, I'm sure yeah. that's the last thing on your I mind. I didn't. I didn't do it a lot, but there were times when I forgot my cleats, and then I do remember vividly we were playing a game, and Brianna Riedel, uh, she was nice enough to go back. We were, we were in McMeckin. We were in yeah, we, yeah, were in McMeckin, we had a Thunder Glendale game or in McMeckin, and she was nice enough to drive all the way to my house, grab my bag, and bring it. back. I remember one time you forgot your hat or something. And I remember yeah. your dad was, you know, oh, your, your daddy dad, come my marching dad, out of that dugout. He's shaking his head. He's, that, that, my dad <laughs> yelling at me like <laughs> my dad is. That is like my biggest fear. Him yelling, I'll never with him, my, like me forgetting. But he something. never embarrassed you guys though. That would mean I'm sure to you. I'm sure to you, but like to the outsider. Like, but me knowing him, like he, it, it, I, he, I never forget. He, he was booting balls in the infield, and <laughs> oh, I was just sitting in the dugout, and he would kept booting them or something. They're like, I, I can't. Or he was Jeez. like making bad throws or something. I, I can't remember the exact <laughs> scenario, but. He's taking ground balls, and it was pissing my dad off. Oh no, I know so gonna, bad. I know what you're gonna say? And he was hitting these oh, these balls, oh, yeah. like like as hard oh, as yeah. he could hit them. Yeah, Chris and they tells were, the story. They were peeling off like his shoulder, and they were like booting off his. I I was like. He's gonna die. Like he is. Gonna what about die. when he hit that one? Almost killed uh, that, Tyler Reed. That, that that he 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 was up at night thinking about Chris, that. Chris talk cause, said, cause, "If Mark, if you'd hit him in a temple, he was gonna die." Jub was Jub was the same situation. I think Jub pissed him off. He was yeah, it was one of you guys made him mad. And Jub he, and he was, was just pissed him off. I think <laughs> odds are was probably and, and he just got up <laughs> and just lined this ball and it it sailed and, yeah. and Tyler wasn't looking and it went. Right, just right over his head, and thank and he, God. And, and he yeah. thought if it hit, we we would have died. Yeah. It would have killed him. It would have absolutely killed him. <laughs> One of my favorite stories, real quick, of of him was probably the most mad I've ever seen him was we were playing in Legion over at my senior year over in uh, Caddis, and they were they were no good. They were they were terrible. And, we just we were out. I think Jump was even on vacation. I think I was he was gone. he was gone, <laughs> and it kind of, we had a couple young guys come up, and it kind of was just a game where we didn't we knew we didn't want to be there, and it, it was a waste of time. So we went over, but we played awful. We played so we we started out horrible. They ended up they were up like ten like three on us, and I, I remember I made a I like dove for a ball and. I, I ended up not not getting in and it booted it or something, and then another one went over an outfielder's head and he jogged after it, and my dad takes his his helmet off, slams it in the dugout. It it came up, it it oh, bounced yeah. back up and hit him right in the nose. It broke his glasses and then landed in the trash can, <laughs> and he's sitting there. And, and we had a, a young guy up that we brought up from I don't even know. It might not have been JV. It might have been like the freshman team, and he's sitting there and. He said he was just sitting on the dugout, like, like looking. Said, at, I remember he said it was the most scared he'd ever been in a dugout before. Yeah, because yeah, and he, was, he he slammed that helmet. It it broke his glasses and landed in the in the trash can. He was so pissed at me. I really didn't even do that much. I wasn't really even that my fault. 
I, and and then I ended up hitting for the cycle that game. And oh. It, <laughs> said, hey, well, well, I'm going to stick asshole. up for us dads. You know, when you do preach the whole time, and even I, obviously this dad even did it to him because he said, hey, make sure you double check your bag before we walk mm-hmm. out to the car. That is a rough pill to swallow. There's, it, unfortunately, it doesn't promote mistakes, allowing a kid to make a mistake. Yeah. But when you do tell them 63 times to yeah. double check your bag, and then unfortunately right. you get to the car, there's a reason to and get a little shitty. I sure. Probably yeah. Yeah. The lesson, hopefully, they're going to learn eventually. Yeah, that yeah. They're gonna, it's going to stick. Like, yeah. oh, man, I'm not going to let this ever happen again. Yeah. He, That's he, probably what you're hoping yeah. for as a dad. Right, 100%. To, I am mortified like of authority. Like, police, yeah, yeah. I am terrified. Now? Mortified, really he's always mortified been that way, of breaking the law, of getting in trouble, of getting like yelled at. I'll give an example here. We were just filming that commercial this past like two days ago. <laughs> this is incredible. And I'm not going to name names, and I'm not going to say who it was, but we were milling about probably somewhere we shouldn't have been. But either way, the location wasn't like a a locked facility that we climbed in a fence to get into. We get confronted by the man that worked in this particular location and i'm just i'm a nice guy i if if something if if we did something wrong i'll be the first to say hey i apologize so i have my headphones on because i'm listening to these guys on the microphone and i have the camera and i we have these brand new microphones that are these lavalier microphones that feed into the camera and i can hear them wherever they are so i can't hear and he comes around a corner and I'm I can't hear, so I have to get close to him because I and I have one ear on, and I get close to him, like leaning into him, and we're like two feet away, and I I he and they say I was closer, but I mean, he was so this he guy was says huge grill. I'm not I I, I don't even want to like he was like why are you he was basically asking us why we were in his place of work, which. We didn't even realize it yeah, was a place. Like no one had any intentions of being where we were. Work. <laughs> yeah. So he goes. He goes. Why are you here? And I was like, Well, we we work downstairs. We're we're just filming a commercial. We're going up to the roof. And he was like, He didn't have any of it. And he was like, Pissed. And I was leaned in because I couldn't hear him. <laughs> And he goes, he goes, why are you so close to me? And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I can't, he- I'm, I'm not, and I'm not like in his, I'm not like up in his face. I was, no, stop it. I was close. <laughs> Even Soup admitted it, it, well, I wasn't as close as you made it seem I was, but uh, I was close to him, but, and he was like, why are you so close to me? And he was a smaller guy and I'm a rather large man and i was uh, <laughs> over top of him and i didn't even know what was going on these guys are in the elevator so the elevator's closed i'm out of the elevator talking to this guy and i hate confrontation and i'm like uh we're just here one of we're filming a curse uh, uh, yeah and he goes he goes uh it, it, something about the work area and something yeah, and it was just like dude we're leaving it was like, like such laughing. a it was a, such an overblown reaction that it was so it was so beyond obviously we're just a bunch of dudes that were just milling about and trying to get to somewhere we couldn't get and this dude was pissed and like through he was like uh, he was like you could see him steaming and <laughs> anyway I don't even know what my point is to any of this, but I hate that was on my mind for two days. Like up until this morning, I was thinking about that because I feel terrible. Like it makes me feel bad. I don't like making people mad. I hate making people mad. So like if I get confronted, I hate that. I absolutely hate that. If it's in school, by the police, by law, like if we break the rules, I'm always the one that's like, "We guys, we shouldn't do this. Guys, we shouldn't. I, I don't like this. Well, I voice of reason here. isn't a bad thing. But no, no. I, voice of reason is not a bad thing. I have like an un. I mean, I didn't drink. I didn't cuss. I didn't drink. I didn't <laughs> until I was like 18. I didn't do anything. I didn't cuss until I was like 18. They would go nuts every time I swore. And but I just I, I have a and I th- I think it's because of my dad. I think I think I'm so mortified of like making him mad and making like the f- like people mad that I just have an that's like my only fear. Wrong oh, with that? No, it's okay. That's legitimate. Fucking I mean, man. I'm I'm like that too. I I don't mind making people upset. It if that's the goal. 
I don't want to unintentionally do it. You no. know what yeah, I'm saying? That, that's like I, more. Like my... I, I agree with you. Like if you get into a situation where you did something by mistake or you didn't or weren't aware, and, and somebody got real pissed at you, and you're like, "Oh shit, I feel bad about this." Yeah, you're you're 100. percent That was a scenario. I, I, I was like, I feel, and you rethink it in your mind, like, "Shit, what was I doing there? Like, I wasn't paying attention." Or yeah. and sometimes it isn't your fault. No. It, yeah. Sometimes it might. And be. And this scenario that we're talking about was so so but, stupid. You know, like, if that guy's. Man, I can't wait. Started I poking like his finger whole... in your chest or something, then it would change things. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this whole show, I've been waiting for breaks. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, like it's, yeah. Uh, it's I think, uh, think, speaking of that, I think we're running out of time here. I um, do like the last thing, though. Yeah. Can we close on that? Please. Go. The favor of God does not bless self-promotion. I'm not some holy roller by no means, um, but at the end of the day, if you are a God-fearing man and believe that everything that we do is through God's graces— as we all talk about, we hate those fucking people that all oh, they do is talk about themselves and blah, 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 this and that. Yeah. That is a really, that's actually What's maybe your, the uh, best one yet, yeah. to be good, honest good. with I'm you. What's you your it. tactic if you get locked in a conversation with one of those guys? Um, I tell you what, probably back in the day, I would have swallowed it. I mean, the older I've got, I don't know what well, it is. I'd, it's, I, it's not a good place to be in life, though. No, it's he's really a not. an asshole about it. I, no, what you do. <laughs> what he does it to me. <laughs> you mean as in to get out? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he he'll do it. Pass him off. Pass him off. <laughs> well, what I, I do that to your dad and Chris. Or your, your dad does <laughs> well, it, though, to dad. us. But do, you guys not, but do you agree, though? At the end of the day, like I think it's two things. If somebody has the right to tell you something that maybe you don't want to hear, then they got to hear what you got to say. Yeah, or true. the fact yeah, of yeah, matter, yeah. like if somebody's sitting there blowing themselves, I don't think there's anything wrong with, dude, Jesus Christ, like take a breath or yeah, fucking, yeah. like something does on it, those yeah. lines. Does I mean, it depend on who the person is? Like if you know them well or you don't know them well? Um, like how you handle Because sometimes if I know the person pretty well, I'll just say, Fuck off, man! Yeah. 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 Shit. Yeah. Like if you know, like it'd be like if you guys with Nick or with somebody, yeah, like, yeah. It's like jabbering about something he could play uh, <laughs> first base. base in the major yeah. leagues. And yeah. well, fuck off, up. Nick! I think, actually, Matt, Matt, I think it would be shit. more situ. I, I don't think it'd be so much person driven as it would be situational. Okay, driven. that's very. I, I think because at the end of the day, it'd probably depending on my mood and how no, bad, right. how <laughs> how much shit they're trying to make me swallow. Right. Like it'd probably get to the point. Here's a scenario, and then we'll wrap it up here. Speaking of that um coach nardoni's um uh, uh memorial thing at uh wheeling park we were at that um at the uh what's the jb chambers the mm -hmm. performing arts center mm -hmm. and they had an awesome to do and it was it's it's one of the cooler things they had the bagpipes playing and stuff like that and it was just a, it was a it was a sad day but my dad did a good job you know yeah. lighting things up and it was it was it ended up being you know a pretty very moving day just the whole scenario was you know intense but afterwards you know the the procession gets done we come outside of the performing arts center and everybody's kind of talking about amongst each other about how the stories that were told and we're laughing about you know coach Rodoni and you know you know making and this guy i'm not going to say who he is um comes right up to my dad and with not even mentioning my dad's you know words about coach Rodoni, blah 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 Goes into about how his son's playing travel baseball. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was bad. Well, oh way to pick God. your spot, buddy. It like, was so bad. How can you possibly have that in your mind? That's what you're going to talk about in that scenario. That, See, people like that should be locked up. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. You're a detriment it was bad. to your it was self horrible. and your family. <laughs> what about even the situation? That's, I mean, that's, you talk about timing. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's so like, bad. On. Like, we're not going to mention names, but even when, uh, what's say talk about? He's getting ready, his situation with being on the OR table. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, he's getting ready to have surgery. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. About his yeah. Son. yeah it's like, come on, talking man. about his son, how fucking great he is, and he's going to be, I mean. I, whew, oh, man. Fucking <laughs> brutal. <laughs> Wake brutal. up. Wake don't brutal. be that guy. We Listen, don't, have, don't be that yeah, guy. Yeah, you know what? That's a good point. Don't, don't be, be that, that guy. guy. Just we, got be... No, we got no hope, do we? <laughs> <laughs> hey, one thing on here real quick I wanted to mention. Uh, June 17th, 1972, five men break into the Democratic headquarters of the Watergate complex in D.C., leading to the eventual resignation of President Richard Nixon. Uh, I am not a crook. The only reason I'm that saying is right. that is if you want to catch a good short show that's historically based is really good acting. Uh, the It's called White House Plumbers. It's on HBO. It's about this break in. Really, really good. All right. There Justin you go. Thoreau and uh, Woody Harrelson. All right. There played, uh, that's what happened. Yeah, right. They were, were they acting like plumbers or something? Well, that they called them White House Plumbers because they cleaned up shit uh, and they basically did uh, things uh, for the White House in those days. 
incredibly good. Uh, really, it's got funny uh, like laughter in it, but it also it tells a serious story about how that all went down. In uh, it's such a the, really interesting situation, it is. And there, back in those days, you know, a lot of conspiracy theories. And I was shortly after Kennedy was killed. You had a lot of things uh, in play there, so it's a good watch. I think it's only like six or eight episodes. Really, really good and uh, great acting. So good. check Net- it out. Netflix. Just, just real quick, uh, so HBO. Sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry, yeah, um, Mr. Cooley. Uh, Rodney Cooley, uh, Ty's dad's uh, obviously part of our group as well, but he just gave us some really good advice. We need to get uh, some girls dressed like in Hooters. Uh, hold on. Need some girls dressed like Hooters girls in Pine Room shirts and shorts serving you guys beer. There's our next <laughs> oh, commercial. Yeah. Well, that's where we got to uh, get that liaison with Jill's Lounge, which we can, maybe uh, we can, get we can work our, on that with our contacts in this building. We can yes. model our gear. <laughs> yeah. <That's, laughs> we, we, we thought about that for the golf scramble, so we just yeah. move it up for the beer. Yeah. No brainer. Perfect. All right. Well, be. that's going to do us here in the studio. If you're yeah. a stripper and watching, <laughs> yeah. call us. We've got a I job wonder, for you. I wonder what our ratio is, like one to every every 30 listeners. Yeah, if you're, if you're on the poll, call us. <laughs> we can bring you in studio. We'll interview you. I've live never heard of that before, if you're on the poll. Mm. <laughs> hey, the, no pun intended. <laughs> no pun intended. All right. That is going to do us here with the Pine Room Podcast. Thank you for joining us for episode 62. We had a fun talk. Talked about some serious things, some fun things, some uh, dark things. But, uh, we, we like to run the gamut here on the show. If this is your first time joining us, go listen to everything we've done in the past, all our videos we've done. Go check out the new commercial for uh, Keglers. We're going to be down there on the 23rd, so go check that out. Uh, we got some other things that are going on uh, that we'll keep you abreast of, and we're going to be. Have you guys ever been to Kegler's? Like that. I've never, never been. been. Uh-huh. Never been. It's, it's awesome. Good. Yeah, it's a good That's spot. Awesome. I, I like, like that so. place. Good All wings, right. really good. You should try to eat like fifty wings. Their wings, right. honestly, their, their wings, wings are really good. good. Right. And they got an indoor bowling alley, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, no gosh. shit. Uh-huh. It's it's a neat uh, place. Oh, man, I it's probably. I would I would say it's probably the the most well known bar in Morgantown, right? Yeah, I mean, there's probably some that we don't know. Some of the newer age ones, but I I like it, and I'm not a Morgantown person at all. But I I felt very comfortable I've in never, there never ever party only been there probably time. three or four times but i liked it no oh, that's exciting well hopefully we'll see you at keggler's on the 23rd we'll be on here before then yeah next, one more yeah Tuesday. we got one next more before we'll be then on, you guys so, are uh, off the vacation and we're yes. headed down, down south the caribbean into the waters of the caribbean uh we're gonna go see davy jones and uh, captain <laughs> hook davy jones. uh but yeah you know, thank you for joining us here episode 62 of the pine room podcast go check it out now at the pine room studios now on social media because we are far more than just this podcast so go check that out um and then you know go check out the store go get your slides go get your chimp trunks go get your beer go get your beer yeah beer, beer is all send us some videos of you drinking the yes, beer please, watching the please. show yeah. and wearing those flip-flops like ghoulies going yeah on, yeah slides in. yeah beer is going to be in a lot of different locations in most if you want to be a cover beer. model for any of the merchandise contact yeah, we'll make, make some yeah. beer posters yeah we'll yeah. try to make that so uh I, that's all i got anybody else anything else Peace. Anything? All right. Jeff, Peace. Matt, Jarrett, Cooley. Thanks, guys. That'll do it. All right. We'll see you here next time. Later. Good night.